Okay, mic check. One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna shout in it. Ah! Right, the microphone levels have not dropped. They've stayed where they are. Thank fuck for that. So hopefully, I won't have a problem with Windows being a little bitch. Oh yeah, I also have to say the following words at the beginning of the stream to make sure that YouTube doesn't monetize it because they don't give me any cut of the money because I'm not monetized yet. FUCK! There. As long as I say fuck within the first, what is it, two minutes, they can't monetize it, right? Because that's a, that's a thing. I see Devo and Lure are both in the chat. Hello, hello, how are, are both of you? Yes, uh, we say the word fuck at the beginning of the stream because uh, I found out that uh, YouTube, YouTube can, uh, can monetize your streams without, uh, without giving you a cut. That's a cool nifty little thing they, they did toward, uh, the end of last year. So, well, Susan's not part of YouTube anymore, that's right. But they could, like, put ads for, like, McDonald's burgers, overpriced, shitty burgers that shave five years off your life. And then they can turn around and, uh, charge, like, a bunch of money. And then YouTube can play those ads, and then I get no cut of it because I'm not monetized. And I, I honestly think that's shite. Uh, I understand it's your website. You can put banner ads on your website. You can put a video ad on your website. But when someone clicks onto my content, if there's an ad playing before, during, or after my content, I want a cut of that, that revenue. I don't care if you just make it so it's only Google Play credit until I can get like monetized or some shit. I think it's not fair. It's bullshit. Like, imagine, imagine if uh, you buy a car, right? Well, okay, well, well, let's imagine you got a free car. Because YouTube is free. Let's imagine you get a free car, and uh, as you drive your free car, it plays ads around to everyone around you, and uh, you don't get a cut of it. They, like, they don't even pay for your gas or anything. It's kind of like that. It's kind of bullshit. kind of don't like that. But, hey, that's the... Uh, Late stage capitalism world we live in today. I'm in the voice chat if anyone wants to hop in the voice chat. If not, feel free to lurk, hang out, chill. I just always hop in voice chat in case anyone wants to pop in. I think I've got a little bit of errands to do unless I do have the third um, thing I need. Let me take a look. There's also no audio coming through my headphones. I think it's because of the monitor turned off. Turn it off. Monitor and output. There we go. Now I have monitor. All right. <clears throat> the master sword's at fifty, but it's not at full power. I'm gonna suffer. We're gonna we're gonna suffer. We're gonna have some pain tonight. Where is the? Give me all the hearts. There we go. Do I have any of the materials to make the make me strong food? I had three. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, question though. Stay in chat to help the algorithm. Hey, that's, that is awesome. That is completely awesome. Anyone that's in the Discord, there's a few new channels. There is a video share channel where you can share videos that you found on the internet. Uh, just pay mind to rules. Like, don't, don't go post anything that's smut and we'll be fine. And there's also a vintage story channel for posting vintage story stuff. And uh, also sharing your hatred of boars. If you don't understand why I hate boars so much, um, you should go watch the stream I did yesterday on Twitch. I think I have it recorded and I think I'll upload it tonight onto the YouTube. So you can, you can understand why 
I have a rather a large hatred of boar. I do not like boars. They're just like uglier pigs. Except they're assholes and they're not cute. So they, they smell... They're assholes and they're not cute. There's no redeeming factor about a boar. Alright, let's see here. It was, it was Mighty Thistle. And Razor Shrooms, right? So it's two Razor Shrooms, no, three Razor Shrooms and a Mighty Thistle. And this made the mighty food for 30 minutes. Alright. Before we hop into it, let me type in IGN Breath of the Wild Master Sword Trials. And I also saw, I want to just mention this, this is a little bit unrelated to the stream. I saw Laura sent me, uh, <clears throat> I, I normally don't mention DRs, uh, DMs, I want to shout out Laura for a second. He took one of my clips on, uh, on uh, the, uh, Twitch and made a short out of it, which is really cool. Pretty snappy editing. I, I haven't figured out how to get the text to snap in. I have like a template set up for something like that. But, um... It's really good cool editing, and I like the whole, like, adding Spongebob, getting his butt licked. When it's talking about licking the frog. It, the context is weird. You'd have to <clears throat> watch the clip to understand. But, um... It's pretty good, <laughs> pretty good edit, man. How do people make these edits real fast? I don't think they use Premiere. I think they use something else. Alright, <clears throat> so... Back to game. The Final Trials are a true test of power. The set has 23 floors. There are two extremely important strategies you need to know to make the trials easier. These trials are about stockpiling ancient arrows. You can find up to nine listed in the walkthrough below, which can be strategically used on the walking and flying guardians and lynels in the final levels. You'll have more than enough, but you'll need to save them. Use stasis to freeze the enemies and make sure your arrows connect. I keep forgetting that I can freeze enemies with stasis. That'd be really handy against the flyers. In safe rooms, you can cook hearty truffles, hearty radishes, and hearty bass individually for food that will max out your health. You can find a total of six max health hearty items. That's a lot of hearts. The fairies are important too, in case you screw up and miss a chance to heal. So let's see. Uh, going just going through the guide, looking at the list of enemies that are here. Laura says, if you ever want a short, you can post it if you want. Or, if I ever make a short, you can post it if you want. Awesome. I'll be sure to share that. Alright, as it says, uh, first floor. Enemies. Stall, co Stall Coblin. Number two is Electric Keese and Stall Lizavals. Floor three is Big Electric Choo Choo's and Stall Moblins. What's up, Degber? We got Degber in the voice chat. I saw the mm. image you posted. It's really cute, but what happened to her arm? Her arm's all like dislocated. I don't think elbows work like that. Now you'll never be oh. able to. Now you cannot unsee uh, it. Now you can't unsee it. Oh, <laughs> uh, the AI art one I posted. Yeah, I don't. I don't think elbows are supposed to bend that way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I see it. I know. Yeah, now I you can it. never unsee it. <laughs> Who else just popped in here? Laura's in here. What is that elbow? <laughs> Laura sees it. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, oh god, her elbow. She's uh, it's... Fuck. She's fine. She's just double jointed. Don't you know some people <laughs> yeah, are dual jointed? That is fully <laughs> broken. It's just dual jointed. Actually, you can't be dual jointed with elbows, can you? I think it's only hands, right? Get some soda, popping ASMR. Not, not the streamer. The can. How about instead of just standing here and rattling off everything on the floors, I just skim through it and know what I'm up against. How many floors did it say there were? There was... I just read it. Final trials. 23 floors. Okay, so... 
Keys and Stalfos, like Stal enemies and Keys, Stal Coblins. There's a Stal Nox on floor five, okay, that may be a problem. Ugh. Like any other Stal Nox, battle them with lightning. I mean, that's a, okay, any Stal Nox but with lightning. Oh great, there's lightning. Make sure to grab the weapons that are dropped afterwards. Keep in mind they are metal and can still be struck with lightning. Okay, and then it's a restroom. Alright, restroom. Then level 7 through 12. Bunch of Choo Choo. And an Octorok. Did that say Rock Octorok? There's a Rock Octorok. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, that's a good thing, if it's the kind of Octorok I'm thinking of. Yeah, it is. It actually, the guide actually says that now is your chance to clean up some of your rusty weapons as the Octorok is sucking air through your rusty weapon in its direction, have it sucked up, cleaned, and spat back out. When that happens, there's a chance that, depending on the world level, you can actually get modifiers on your weapons. So I can get, like, attack up, or durability up, or increased throw, or stuff like that. Minecraft Fred is in here. Hello, Minecraft Kid. How are you? I'm just reading through the guide to see what kind of crap I'm going to be dealing with the final trials. Uh, there were ice hour arrows in like a couple floors before, and there's some fire breathing Lazalfos. Um, you just melt them, which is great. Imagine knock a Lazalfos and the lava won't die. Fire a few more arrows into it. Drop a metal crate. When it's your call, bombs work too. Wiz robes and a black moblin. And two fire breathing Lazalfos on floor nine. So, like, pretty tough stuff. There's an Igneo Talus. Another boss battle, this time with Lava Variation of Stone Talus. Before you start the battle, take note that the rock piles in different tiles of the room without walking, without weakening the giant rock, blow these piles up to reveal wind bursting from the ground. Use it during the battle to dry up to the air. Using an ice arrow or ice weapon will temporarily cool the rock, allowing you to climb for a brief time. But. What if, instead, I think when you, you can use bombs when you're gliding, and when you do so, you drop the bombs. Right? Let me test that real quick. Couldn't I just do this? Do that on the, on the damn talus. Just, like, glide over it, carpet bomb it, and keep doing that as a strategy? That may work. There's a break floor on floor number 12. So that's a race, that's a rest area. 13, frost pebbles, big choo-choos, and blue bokoblins, and black bokoblins. So it looks like we're going to be dealing with ice now. Floor 16 has a Frost Talus. And then, right after that, it's a Blue Maned Lynel. Which does give me some good weapons, provided I can kill it. Then there's a rest area after two bosses back to back a Frost Talus and a Blue Maned Lynel. Then we got Stationary Guardians, which I can deflect their beams back. There's a regular guardian, which I can deflect their beams back. Floor number 21 has a guardian sky watcher. And that's where I'm going to need to do this. I'll just save before I do this, because I don't want to lose any of my hearts. But let's practice on this real quick, because I know there's a sky watcher around the Kata Chuki shrine. Guardian Score Marker does not bother you unless you bother it. it. also means getting in its line of sight. Standing from the top of the central tile can give you the best outlook on the enemy. Shooting into the eye will maximize damage, so you may want to glide and use slow motion to pinpoint your shot. You can deflect the beams back to the Sky Watcher, though. It just takes a while. If it's only one, I could try doing that. It depends on what equipment I have. Alright, pause for a sec. Let me switch over to the ancient armor. Go to my bows. I have the best bow equipped. No, I don't. Get this. 
and make sure I have stasis room ready. I forgot stasis plus can freeze enemies. It's a short time, but it would give me enough time to line up a shot. So all I have to do is piss off this watcher to get its attention. Stasis it. And shoot it right in the eye. Might have been better to try to get the one that wanders around Hyrule Castle Gate. I don't really have a, a lot of time to hit it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. If I shoot it straight in the eye, it only takes one arrow. So that ain't too bad. Let's see, the very next floor has a single guardian, a guardian turret, and one sky watcher. Then the next floor has a guardian turret, bokoblins, horses, and a white maned Lionel. That's floor 23. Oh, that's actually the last one. So wait, how many sky watchers are there? They start showing up after the last rest room. So it doesn't seem like it's that bad of an encounter. The only problem areas I see are possibly the Sky Watchers and the Lionel. Those are, the, those are things I struggle on. I think I made attack up food. I may actually want to have defense up food instead. What was my last save? Was it before... I don't know. I may fall back to a autosave real quick. Good luck with the Master Tiles. Yeah, I'm gonna need it, alright. Jeez. Was this before I cooked the food, or after I cooked this? After I cooked it. We're gonna do a little save scumming. We're gonna do a little bit of save scumming here. I'll drop a hard save if this is before I cooked the food. It is. Thank God for auto saves. You can kind of time travel with them. A little bit. But you have to do a hard save or you lose them. Alright. Get my food back. I think it may be a better idea to actually um, do defense up instead of attack up. Based on the Lionels. I'll try to attack up first, though, because I may be able to get through stuff quicker. I don't want to sit by the campfire. Recipe is Dragon Horn, Mighty Thistle. Three razor shrooms. That makes the mighty shrooms. Alright, so. Ooh, main my nail. Nothing. Stationary guardians, fine. Single guardian. Like, guardians don't scare me, really. Because like, I. Once you know you can cheese them with the shield parries, it's not that scary. It's just the Sky Watcher. Floor 21 has a single Sky Watcher. I could just parry its beams. Floor 22 has a Guardian, a Guardian turret, and a Sky Watcher. And then 23 has the Lionel and the Guardian turret. The Coppins and Horses. Alright. 
I will try with attack up first, and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, I'm gonna load a save, and we will do a defense up instead. Of course, I forgot to eat the food, so I have to leave and then try again. <sighs> Damn it. How could I forget to eat the food? What the fuck is wrong with me, dude? And we're dealing with thunder. Okay, so... I guess the first area is... Thunder. We're gonna be dealing with thunder. So metallic weapons are no-go. Well, goblins, I can I can defeat style moblins with bombs. All I have to do is have them chase after me and blow them up with bombs. They have pretty much just two HP. One HP for them being assembled, and then one HP for their head. I thought you were able to pick up their heads and throw them to kill them. Probably not. I might be thinking of something else. I warped out because I forgot to eat the food. Do I have any... Oh, uh, no, I only have three. Damn it. I had a fourth thing, I could probably get some more stamina. Alright. This time we eat the food, then we do the final trials. Duh. Alright. I'm just busy uh, doing an Academy Ace tournament in a Pokemon Scarlet. You should go do that with a, with the a, uh, Pokemon Compass mod, it makes it stupid fucking hard. Serious? You, yeah, it basically, the first time you do the tournament, I think everything's capped at level 80 something, but the second and any other subsequent times you do it, the levels of all the trainers are level 100, because it's meant to be like a post game thing. Gee, 100? Yeah. Damn. The game gives you plenty of opportunities to level up your Pokemon, so it's not too bad. Alright, we're gonna grab the bones. What happened? Did I just blow up his weapon? Is it pot? Don't tell me it's possible to blow up weapons now. Come on. Is it I think that might have been what happened. He didn't have the spiked bat. He had, uh... This may be taking longer, though. Ah, uh, you can kick their heads around. Should pick up any rusty weapons I find because we got that rock octo rock. That octo rock. Some stall enemies die as soon as you kill their heads. Others are... they spawn in a group. And you have to kill the group for them to all die. One of them had a big club, but I don't know what happened to it. It probably got destroyed by the bomb explosion. So that's something I should take note of. Unless it just got blown away. Use this opportunity to look around. No, it just got blown away. There it is. Unequip that, please. But I am grabbing the rusty weapons because those are going to give me good weapons when I get to the Rock Octorock Rock a few floors later. I'll just use the Bokoblin arms to kill the other guys. I think the amount of slots I have for weapons is actually a good amount.
We are going to Allahu Snack Bar, all these motherfuckers. <laughs> Allahu Snack Bar! Hello! Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Bombs? <laughs> Good one, Bomb. Bombs? <laughs> you want it? It's yours. Oh, shit. That is some horse shit. Both times I blew up bombs in there and the damn barrels did not go kaboom. Why was there no boom? Sad terrorist noises. There we go. That's more like it. I can also abuse the enemy's AI by having them chase after me. And then blow them up. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's it, you're getting getting hit with an arm. Get hit with an arm. I'm surprised the Lazalfos arms actually do more damage. It's literally a bone. Does that mean Lazalfos have stronger bones? Perhaps. Please do not equip the metal weapons or armor. There's a chest too. Where's that chest at? Metallic in the ground. I think it's metallic in the ground. Because lightning just struck nearby. A Royal Guard Sword. Oh, that's actually really fucking good. That's a 48 damage weapon. But I can't use it because this area is full of lightning. It's bullshit. Next floor. Full health, no damage yet. We got a platform. It's a platform of a chest. They got milk. The Zolfos yeah, drinking yeah. Lazolfos milk. They're talking he's talking about like the Zolfos bones being stronger. He says Lazolfos got milk. He's gonna get food. He got milk. Stand back when blowing these guys up. I don't wanna get caught in the green electrical goop. Something is attracting lightning. I think it's another buried chest. Maybe that's a good indicator to where chests are. When it's lightning outside, but I have a radar that tells me where chests are. Oh. I was actually smart and turned, on, turned my Sheikah radar to be picking up chests. Oh, good. A knight shield. Well, this game's being real generous with the shields, and that's good because I'm going to need them. Do I have any... I don't have a two-handed weapon that can break crates open. That was incredibly lucky. I almost fucking died. I don't have defense if I have attack up. That lightning strike would have fucked me right up. There's other enemies in the room because the way forward has not opened up. I don't see them. I don't like enemies I don't see. Make sure I didn't have that equipped. I think it's a Lazaltos up ahead. Yeah, it is. Stall Moblin. So glad the stall enemies only have 1 HP. What am I doing? Drop a bomb, blow them up, and then hit their head. Oh yeah, I gotta grab their, their arms too. Wait, why are you still alive? Is there a third? Yeah, there's a third. Okay, I was like, why is there... Whoa, wait a minute. I completely forgot about that. The, um... The style... Um... The Stal Lizards. The Stal Lizalfoses. Their arms act like boomerangs. 
doing pretty good. This is only the early floor. It's a little, a little too early to judge. Oh, okay. I think I understand. So, Bokoblins, their stuff acts like acts like uh, one-handed stuff. The Zalfos act like boomerangs, and the Moblins act like uh, clubs. I'm doing good. Immediately, fucking runs into punchy stick. No, don't reconstruct your body. Run right into a punchy stick and get hurt. For a whole heart of damage. I think my arsenal of weapons is good. Let me drop the current moblin armor I have equipped. No, wait, it's sparking. Everything got a sparkle? Everything has a sparkle. So nothing's been damaged. Arrows? Arrows! Next floor. There's 23. 23 floors with 3 break floors, so it's actually 20 floors. Horses. I need some type of spear. To deal with horses. That was a lot of damage. That was a good seven hearts. And now I'm down the reds. Cool. Oh. That's Get a new type of spear. by my Gardevoir. Get fucked. The first trainer got absolutely rolled by my uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir's broken in that game. Yep. Not really liking the fact that I just lost so much goddamn money. I lost all my yellow hearts. On this floor. This is where the run goes to shit. There's a whole mess of rusty weapons everywhere. Do you have any other bones? Especially if I see shields, I want to grab shields. Lost snack bar. Don't know why I just didn't jump on the back of one of these horses. I think the run might be shot, guys. I may have to reload. Taking too much damage. May have been a better idea to use defense up instead of attack up. I have something equipped that's metallic. I'll keep running until I run out of health. But I'm not feeling this now, now that I've taken so much damage. <laughs> Starting to think defense up would have been a better option. There's the stall box. What bow do I have equipped? <laughs> Strongest non metal weapon.
Back off. Bow. Miss. It sucks when I miss with my arrows. Because I have so few of them. I think it is possible to juggle this eyeball when he tries to get toward the stall maps. Ah, great, it was invulnerable. As soon as that animation starts, it's invulnerable. Right, there's the stall mox. And that stall mox has dropped a good amount of weapons. I see a flame spear already. They're all elementals. There's a flame spear. Um, why did I drop the Boku spear that's not damaged? What am I doing? Drop that, that's about the break. Cross blade. There was an electric blade too, it got flung away when the lightning struck. Thunder blade. No, don't have it equipped. Idiot. There's a chest too, because the radar is going off. There is a rest area up ahead. I was able to kill that stall mox as fast as I was because of the attack up. Where's the chest at? Oh, it's another one that's buried underground. Oh! That was close. What's inside? What do we got? There's the ice arrows, but I can use the frost blade for the talus. Really hate the fact that I lost so much health. But now I'm going to have an opportunity to get it back. I think he said there are three hearty food items in this restroom. And a fairy that I can never catch, because they always run the fuck away. Every fucking time. Watch. Okay, I got this one. Two hearty truffles? Yep, two hearty truffles. Two hearty truffles. Razor shroom. Armored carp. That's good for armor up. There's a axe. A double axe. Drop another weapon for it. Uh, spear. Drop the spear for it. Give me the double axe right now. Looks like I can break these crates open. Thumbsticks. Raw meat. Arrows. Palm fruit. Complete load of seeds. I think that's it. Then, of course, there's the apples. Now, I could make the hearty foods now and eat them. That's probably not a good idea. Maybe a better idea to hold on to them until I absolutely need them, because it's a full heal on top of giving you extra health. Okay, three ancient arrows. A knight's bow. Are you using something bomb sniping? Really helpful there, actually. Master Robotnik, you didn't have to put that in caps, dude. But no, I'm not. I'm not doing that, I guess. I don't even know what the hell that is. So I'm assuming I didn't. I have not done that. Okay, foods. Cook those up together. Make a food item. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. How many am I missing? Not that much. Alright. Cook one hearty item at a time. Those give me full recovery. Just 
eat that raw. Three armored carp, throw it together. Two minutes, 30 seconds, it defends up two. Toss the razor shrooms in. And mighty shroom skewer. Should not use the rusty weapons. If I can help it. Alright, next floor. This is the fire floor. That's where the fire happens. Oh, apparently you only need one piece of uh, armor for the heat guard. Everything here. Just blow it up. There's my Octorok. I don't want to kill him just yet. Uh, what is everything that's rusty? Just don't get hit by the weapon he spits out. Knight's Broadsword. That one's gone. That one's probably gone. Or not. No, it's not. He got it. Come on, spit it back out. No, I didn't. Okay, you let me just drop it here. It seriously go right in the lava. Fucking worse. Well, I'm down a weapon. Because it bounced and went right into the lava. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Can we stop... Stop putting, uh... Master Robotic! Stop with the caps! Do we need mods to step in? We may have to. If he does it again, it's gonna be a timeout. This is... I told you once. I told you a second time. There is gonna be no third time. It's gonna be a timeout on the third time. Alright. And there is there is no need for the caps lock. Oh goddamn it! Traveler spear. Okay. Is that all the weapons that were rusty? No. I have a claymore. Still kind of bullshit. The one weapon fucking bounced and went right in the lava. Knight's Claymore, very nice. Don't know where that went. It's probably gone. Down the shield. Cool. Both the shields bounced and have burned. Look at that lovely. God damn it. Both of my rusty shields got burnt. How does a rusty weapon turn into a, a wooden shield? I'd, I'd like someone to explain that to me, please. Developers of game, explain. Rusty means it's made out of metal. It should not be wood? Yeah, that does not actually make sense. It makes no sense at all. This is bullshit. 
It's also bullshit that both of them fucking bounced and landed in lava and got destroyed. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, I am back. Welcome back. Well, there was a rusty claymore. I could have had him fix up, but ah, eh, whatever. We'll just use that weapon. That's pretty good, though. Knight's Broadswords, uh, a Knight's Claymore, and a Traveler's Spear. And then, like, literally none of the shields, because they all bounced and fucking went in the lava and decided they weren't long for this world. Lazalfos. Fire Lazalfos. I have to equip a metal bow. Those are the fire ones, right? Yeah. God damn it! Falls off platform, falls in the lava. This is what the ice arrows are for. Get Terra Thunderbolted, idiot. Boom. You're dead. And that was a crit. You're extra dead. Now, provided that Master Robotnik's still here, just make sure you don't have Caps Lock turned on. We'll be fine. Just don't be spamming Caps. It's rude. Okay, that's good, because I should have timed them out. The second time I did it, because I told him once. Right. He Thank sent you. another in cap, Devo? Yeah, he sent two. So, Lord went and timed him out. Time will... He's already been timed. Yeah. Just think how if I do uh, a mod action, it, it sends in your uh, on screen chat as just. Yeah. Unless I turn on moderation activity, then it might show. Yeah, now it shows. Timed out for 300 seconds, okay. God damn it, the fucking lava again! I'm gonna die to environmental damage this run. It is interesting that it shows the mod action as just blank on the other thing. that it, it shouldn't even come up at all. That is bullshit. The arrow went straight through him. What can I use a Meteor Rod for? Traveler Spear. Get rid of the Traveler Spear. Give me the Meteor Rod. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. <laughs> oh, they're both fire. They won't. They won't burn. Why is the moblin not getting burnt? What is this bullshit? The moblin is fire resistant. That's no. That's bullshit. That hammer. Fuck the meteor rod. Wait, no, hold on to the meteor rod. There's ice enemies up ahead. Uh, I didn't want. To... Well, actually, no, that will work too. Keep shit away. I think the boomerang does arc to come back to me. So 
surprised that this is an effective strategy. No, don't stand on the fire! Idiot! I love how I missed twice. It just whizzed right past his ear. I swear, like, the the actual hitboxes of the enemies are smaller than the fucking enemy itself. There's times where I swear I've lined the shot up and it just did not connect at all. Uh, gotta drop something else. Don't have enough inventory space. Weakest weapon is Rusty Claymore. Drop it. I will need that hammer for the Talus. There's two Taluses coming up. The hammer is the most effective weapon against them. Iron Sledgy Hammer. Yo! You you did not just come back from a timeout and just post in caps again. Ban him. I might have to. Like, you just got timed out for caps, and then you come back after your timeout, and you caps again. And you're backseating, too, on top of things. Don't tell me how to play the game. Let me play the game wrong. Frickin' Generation Alpha and their fucking... You have to play the meta! You, you can't play the game sub-efficiently. Everything has to be efficient. You're gonna efficient your fucking. You're gonna min max your life and efficient your life out. This fucking rate. Since you want to meta everything, Jesus. Next floor. Next freaking floor. Alright, I'll tell you what. They've been timed out twice. They come back again. In caps. Just go ahead and ban them. Because you're gonna keep doing it. Do I still have... I don't have ice arrows. Fuck. We'll do this instead. Surprise! Oh, come on. There we go. Strengthening bow. Strengthened bow. I have some crappy ones. Drop it. Regular moblin. You are so lucky the barrels next to you are not explosive. Because if they were... Oh, boy, what I would do. I'd blow them up. But it's a super hot area, so they'd probably get blown up instantly. Oh, he just has a bow. Did I just knock them in the lava? Where is the weapon that he just had? He was holding a bow. Okay, what's going on with the game today? Seriously. I kill enemy. He's holding weapon, clearly. I kill him. He fuck mothering, uh... Doesn't have weapon. Miraculously. Give me that spear. Right now. Can't freeze enemies because it's a super hot zone. Come on, fall in the lava. Bye-bye. That's one way to deal with an enemy. Freaking Krakatoa their ass. Oh god, oh god, sacrifice to volcano god. Actually, no, I shouldn't make fun of Polynesians. Their, their, their gods are actually pretty powerful and I don't want to get, like, cursed for in a lifetime. Palmu got cursed for for a lifetime at one point. Uh, like her her mother picked up sand from a desert, and like one of the locals said, "Don't do that. You'll you'll get a curse." And then Palmu wound up getting affected by the curse, or something her fucking mother did. Like that's mess messed up. Fucking eldritch gods cursing their children for the shit their parents do. The kids had nothing to do with it. 
You're gonna get clubbed, bitch. Get clubbed. Bye. Ah, oh, damn it, he didn't go in the lava. Fuck. No, don't have to weapon. Fall in the lava instead. So I don't have to use my weapon durability up. Bye. <laughs> no treasure chests. Right? We got the one. Where's the exit at? Oh wait, they kind of, the guy came back after a five minute ban and did it again. Yeah. Devo timed them out for 60 seconds and I haven't seen him come back since. That's ridiculous though. It's like, really? You're told twice, you come back, you do it again? Some people, man. Some people. Then they're backseating or telling me how to play the video game. You gotta use bomb sniping! Use the bomb sniping! How about I just don't use bombs for the rest of the run to spite you? How about that? That'd be pretty funny. That would cap me. That would kneecap me so hard, though. I just don't wake it the tallest. It would screw me over. Right, we want to blow up the rocks in the corners of the room, because that's going to make it so I can get in the air. Then I may be able to carpet bomb this guy. Yep. I have learned that you can blow up the Talos' arms. Each time you blow up one of their arms, it stun locks them for a bit. So it gives you a small opening. I want to make sure I get rid of its arms before I get airborne, because they will launch their arms at me. All right, that's it. Ban him. That that is a that is a fucking ban, dude. Hidden, hidden is a ban. Wait, what do you mean unhidden? Oh, there we go. Ha! It unhidden for whatever reason. Oh. It must have glitched out. Get that ass banned. I don't have the I don't have the fucking clip ready. Get that ass banned. I never got it ready. Of uh, what's his name? Low tier god. Get that ass banned! I don't know why I was so worried about this fight. This fight's nothing. The Vlynel is going to be the fucking problem. The worst part, I'm not going to get any rocks from this. No rocks. Nothing. Sag. Alright, that's the fire area. Uh, what was the next area? It was Guardians, right? No, what was... It wasn't Guardians, there's something else coming up. That's one thing I'll give Twitch over fucking YouTube, but no children. You have to be 13 years or older, your balls have to drop before you can go to Twitch. Where are we at? We just did the fire, Igneous Tullus. Stone Smasher, rest area. Uh, icy Hills. Oh, I went too far. Okay, Rocky Terrain, Igneo Talus, Stone Smasher. Okay, so now we're dealing with ice stuff. Get your cold resistance food eaten and start marching forward, or if you have the Meteor Rod or another fiery weapon equipped to stay warm. The game's not going to give me a cold resist thing, is it? Nope. No, it's not. That's nice. 
I guess I better keep that meteor wand equipped. So up ahead is Frost Pebbles, Ice Big Choo Choo, Blue Bacoblins, and Black Bacoblins. Bacoblins and Moblins, a few Ice Breathing Zolthos. And this room ends with not only a Frost Talus, but a Blue Lin but a Blue Maned Lionel. And I'm gonna have to get rid of my fucking my buff. Because I have to have um, cold resistance. That's bullshit. Not that I'll have enough left over. By the time I get to the line now. Oh, Laura, by the way, did you know when you hide someone, uh, it not only bans them from chat, it also bans them from leaving comments on videos? No way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like you you get banned from a YouTube channel. You're, you're just Thanos snapped. You're, you're fucking gone. <laughs> um. Don't feel bad. If they're gonna do that shit, fuck them. I don't even want them leaving comments, because they'll yeah, just leave comments. Good. Like, if they're gonna do shit like that, they'll just go with my comments and fucking, like, spam the n-word or some shit. Yeah. People are crazy. One of these days I'm gonna ban someone, they're gonna fucking send me pizza. I'll be like, thanks for the pizza, bitch. <laughs> 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 that was the stone smasher, right? That's better than the, uh, the mallet, so we'll drop that. There's a hardy radish. I already see the hardy radish. Sizzlefin trout. Can't not climb the tree. Run around the tree, but don't climb it. A little curious why it's giving me silent shrooms. That's for stealth. I don't stealth. I just go in and make a bunch of noise. That's why I always hate that one um, quest where you have to sneak into the, uh, the lair of the one guys. Because, I mean, you can try to brute force your way through it. It will not work. I've tr I've actually tried going through the Yika Clan hideout. You could have fairies on you, so if you die, um, you revive. When you go in the Yika Clan hideout, fairies stop working. The game doesn't tell you that fairies stop working. You just get game over, and you're like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Because the big guys have like a one-hit kill move. They don't have anywhere else. Only in there. And it kind of made me rage quit the game at first. Cause I'm like, that is some fucking horse shit. You, you cannot just change the rules of the game mid play and not tell me, oh yeah, by the way, these guys kill me in one hit. Like at the very least, have like an NPC or something tell me, hey, you know, the Yuka Clan have like some sort of they're they're like attuned to Ganon or some shit, and then like that attunement makes it so that fairies don't work. Like, just be like, oh, fairies are afraid of the Giga Clan and will not revive you if you're in their place. Then I would be like, okay, well, that's fine because the game told me that that's going to happen and I can't be mad. And it did not, so that's bullshit. I hate it when video games do that, too. They suddenly change your rules halfway through the game. It's not a, it's not a good gameplay mechanic, it's just bullshit. It's bad enough that real life does that when you work a job. Or when you play Monopoly with your family and they suddenly want to use house rules when somebody starts fucking losing. Every goddamn time. Alright, uh, Meteor Rod. Get that equipped. The Flamester is going to help me out a lot. Alright, so all his Taluses go. Blow them up. Nice, nice, fucking nice. Yep. I blow him up, he gets yeeted, and he fucking hits me, and I freeze. Yes, yes, I, I want to lose health. Yes. Please. 
Just yeet his ass. ass. There's a small. As you a masochist? mark. There's a small window of time you have before you start taking environmental damage. So I'm going to be doing a lot of pause buffering and cheesing that. Hey, thanks for the arrows, butthole. I have 130 arrows. Maybe we should just start having fun with them. As I take another bit of damage. Oh, look, there's a cooking pot here. That's nice. You just cannot switch weapons mid-animation. Link has to be in a neutral animation. I do not know if there's a way to animation cancel. Feels kind of cheated that there's a damn thing there. Hold on, there's also a chest here somewhere. Yeah, like if you caught if this dude caught me last week, I probably would have let him continue to do caps and just tell him please stop. But no, this ain't last week, dude. You gotta be a serious streamer. You gotta take it seriously. Doesn't matter if it's two or two hundred. You gotta act like there's two thousand people watching, and if someone's being disruptive. You gotta, as as a streamer, I have to moderate the chat and be like, nope. I say stop. I mean stop. So you watched the Ludwig video, I see. I did watch that Ludwig video. I watched the whole ass thing. It's a good I'm video. Just, I'm just too lazy to do the Oinkin twist. Because really, what I do want to do is I just want to play whatever game I'm playing and then just kind of chill. But, um, that's not what you need to do. I play what? Says hi. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing the later, the, the final trials of the Master Sword Trials. As long as you read the rules and behave, you'll be fine. Just don't go around spamming caps and we'll be alright. <laughs> have you ever played Breath of the Wild before I play what? I imagine you have. If not, maybe you played Tears of the Kingdom. One thing I like about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is they both kind of stand on their own. Tears of the Kingdom just takes everything Breath of the Wild did and amplifies it. It makes it so that, oh, um, you can fuse weapons. And that whole fusion mechanic makes the two games feel distinct, even though they use the same map. You have. Awesome. Did you ever beat it? Because I, I did, and then just never saved. I refuse to cook food. So I'm literally pause buffering. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So I play, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer one over the other or do you per prefer both about the same? That's what I get for setting myself on fire. Burn! Burn, bitch! You fully completed Tears of the Kingdom, even all shrines. Did you did you really truly complete Tears of the Kingdom? Did you get all 1,200 Korok seeds? I, I'm not. I'm not. You don't have to. I'm just kind of just being an ass. Burn, bitch. Burn, motherfucker. I'll take that. You actually like Tears of the Kingdom, honestly. I can see that. I'm kind of mixed between the two. I like the building mechanics and the fusion mechanics in Tears of the Kingdom. 
but you don't have as many weapons in Tears of the Kingdom. There's actually fewer, fewer weapons. You have the same amount of weapon types, like you have your spears, your two-handed weapons, your one-handed weapons, and your hammers, and your bows, but because you can fuse things together, you rely more on fusions than you do on everything else. But I will say, going back and playing Breath of the Wild doing this playthrough, after playing Tears of the Kingdom, there's things in Tears of the Kingdom I miss. Like, I miss having the Ascend ability, for example. I miss being able to, like, just spawn in a vehicle and just go to town on shit. Like, just spawn in a vehicle that has fucking cannons and just run through an enemy camp. Alright, we're not gonna use the Meteor Rod anymore, because that is about to go bye-bye. How dare... You move your head and not allow me to hit you. This is taking too long. One, two, three, four. You can do random shit like beating shit with your meat. Oh yeah, that's right, you can fuse meat to weapons. I've never done that, as I don't know if, like, it does anything other than just be funny. I do think it's silly that I can swap out weapons and avoid taking environmental damage. That is, like, all of my fucking health, dude. Okay, silvers are a fucking problem. I saw that Lionel have to fight, so I need to be careful. Don't I have an armor food? I have armor food. Right? Two minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, we'll save that for the Lionel fight. That'll definitely be a Lionel fight thing. Alright, let's just stand right here. I forget what floor I'm on. What floor am I on? Bidding your meat in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, yeah. You know, technically, you beat your meat on Zelda, too. <laughs> the Zelda boss. Okay. Yeah. That is kind of funny. Where am I at? Just did, uh, not the Lionel, not the Frost Talus. We didn't have a Blizzard Wizard Rope, so that's not here. Lupa Coplin, Silver Moblin, Ice Breezing Lazalfos. I don't remember the Lazalfos. No, yeah, no. That was this. So, next floor is Black Moblin, Blue Bacoblin, and Silver Bacoblin, and a Blizzard Wizrobe. More Ancient Arrows. Good. I will need those. There's some frickin' flyers up ahead. Nothing else here. Alright. I think I have some fire arrows. Before dealing with enemy camp, take care of Blizzard Wob, uh, the Blizzard Wars robe and the Moblin first. Alright. I do have fire arrows. That's all I need to take out that damn Wiz robe. Floor 15. Yep. Okay, 15. The next one is the Talus and then the Lionel. There's the Wiz robe. Get melted, bitch. Where's the Moblin? There's the Moblin. Thank you. 
Moblins are smart. If they see you draw their bow, they will start to move to the right or left. Here's another good question. When you aim bows in the games, do you actually use um, motion controls? I do use motion controls for finer shots. It seems gimmicky at first, but really, you as soon as you do that, as soon as you go to like right stick mixed with motion controls, you cannot go back. Because you can use the right stick for quick movements and then the motion controls to adjust your aim. There's a silver guy. I have, a, I have a damn fire spear. We'll just use the fire spear. Burn! There goes all my damn health again. Don't, don't burn that just yet. God damn it! Okay, I think the guy with the fucking bow has to go first. Oh, you don't use the motion controls. Okay. You like to fuck around with a bow, do you? Come here, bitch. So you like it when I shoot you in the face. A knight's bow. I have a boko bow, I know. Drop that for the knight's bow. Don't want to use the food I have left. Give me this. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that'll be all my health. <laughs> you hate it because I shake like a chinchilla. Oh, right, that, that does suck. I do... He just has shaky hands. That's what he means. A chihuahua, not... I've, I thought it was chinchilla. Sorry. I, I keep forgetting that's how chihuahua is spelled. Chihuahua is one of those weird words. Burn, bitch! Wait till my shit gets charged. Why don't people try canceling Zelda? You literally fight pig people. People want to say... People want to say, like, goblins are, like, a frickin' Jankoist stereotype, or, like, anti-Semitic. I'm literally fighting pig people. They oink like pig people, too. I do not want to get hit by this guy. I get hit by this guy, I'm gonna lose all my damn health. At least they're kind enough to twirl their weapon like a show-off before they try to hit me. I do have a little bit of a shake on my own. I'll pull up a bow and show you the shake. I'm not really moving my controller in that small little shake that's actually me. If I set the controller under the table, you can see it's just me that's doing it. I had seizures as a kid, so it kind of fucked me up. Mess with my nervous system a little bit. I'll berry and palm fruit. Some arrows. Legend of Zelda, the most unhinged franchise. Especially Majora's Mask. Good god. What the fuck were they thinking with that one? Oh wait, I know what they were thinking. Oh shit, get the game out because we got a deadline. And if we don't want to work on Ura Zelda. You know you done fucked up when your own development team's like, we don't want to make a game for an extension for a hardware expansion because we know it's shit and it's not selling well. That's when you know you fucked up. That was the story too. It was um Aonuma told Miyamoto they do not want to make Zelda. Ura Zelda, because Ura Zelda was supposed to be just a... It wasn't going to be like this big expansion. It was just going to be like another mode. It was going to be more dungeons and stuff, and that was going to be it. Mm. 
There goes all my goddamn health. Oh my god. I have the worst luck. The, wor the worst luck. I hate it. It's like my luck stat is in the fucking negatives. All my other stats are maxed. My luck stats is in the fucking negatives. So, absolutely everything I'll do or plan will get fucked over by just like the randomest shit. It's like my luck stat is so shit. I that's why I min max all my other stats IRL is because I got tired of my luck stat fucking me over. So I literally my strategy is like max all my other stats out so if luck fucks me over, I can at least try to deal with it. It's still annoying when it happens though. I mean come on, I got smacked by the talus twice. Don't push it. Just get away. I gotta fight a line. Now I have to fight the Lionel in a freezing environment. I don't have much in the way of healing uh, food items. If I could just make it past this point, I may have a chance, but I don't know. There's a second Lionel fight coming up. That's the tougher one. So I could try to switch to a stronger weapon, or I could just stay with my current weapon and not have to worry about freezing to death. Because that environmental damage could fuck me up real hard. Alright, that was a headshot on the Lionel that did not even count. Pop the defense up. It's so bad with the headshots. Shield, damn it. I was told I can shoot him in the back there, but I've tried and I couldn't really land it. The secret has been has been exposed. I've been exposed, we can be naked and nobody will know. I think next run, because I'm this is this is where the run ends. I'm doing defense up. Am I aiming too high or am I aiming too low to get this headshot? God damn it! I 
God damn it, I don't have the fucking fire weapon on. Whenever I arrive, there is no context of what you're saying. What the hell? Now, I play what said, like, the thing about VTubers is they can have nothing on yet, still look dressed. Unless you're you're watching a loot tuber, that is. Finally, a fucking headshot. Because if I drop that defense up, I'm just gonna die in one hit. Maybe you should just focus on parrying this shit. Okay, he fucking flinched like I parried him, but the parry didn't go through. That's my last fairy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And that hit. That's, that's all my food. That's all the healing items I have. Wait a minute. If I can fucking get up. I just remembered something. This probably won't work. Never mind. That's how you get rid of the Lionels. I forgot. I am idiot. I almost threw the run and I forgot. Wait. I just have the yeet arrow that just deletes things. A uh, duh. Okay, well, I know how I'm going to deal with the Lionel in the final room. I'm going to just fucking shoot an ancient arrow at it and make it go away. There's three fairies watching me get a single... Watch me not get a single goddamn one of them. I'm saying that because, like, the past two times I've done this challenge, the fairies, even though I'm crouched, have run away from me. That's a lovely place for that fairy to be. Like TV, people look dressed up the waist up, but below it's nothing. Wait, wait to wait they give out the secrets of show business. Stop. I'm just, I'm kidding. It's all right. Royal broadsword. I don't need the the meteor rod anymore. We're just gonna be dealing with the guardians going forward. I really hope there's a healing food here though, like a hearty food item, so I can get all the health back. That would be nice. Royal Shield. Royal Bow. Alright. Now we're in this later half of this. I think it's just Guardians mainly. So Frost Talus. And... Rest area. Use the three hearty bash dishes to make... Um, okay, there are three hearty bashes. Okay, so next floor is six stationary Guardians. Then it's a single guardian. Then there's a sky watcher. Then a guardian sky watcher and a turret. And then the white maned Lionel. And a guardian turret. And you know what I'm going to do with that white lane main Lionel? I'm going to just throw the arrow of get the fuck out of here at it. Because I'm not going to deal with it. Fuck that shit. Thank God, some hearty freaking crap. Don't forget the apples. And the other good thing is, along the way, it did give me some defense, so I'm not completely naked. I have six defense, which is like fucking nothing. Right, nothing else. Nope, nothing else. All right, time to cook this stuff up. Cook the iron shrooms up. That gives me defense up. Cook these. 
items together. Just all of them up. I'm actually gonna eat that right now. We'll cook these up. I want to be eating that as well. I don't need to be at maximum health, just high enough. Four hearts. I'm not missing four hearts. And now we cook one of these at a time. Because honestly, my defense rating is so low that I'll just wind up losing all the yellow hearts anyway. Have you tried being silent for the fairies? I've been crouched. Like, I was crouched and moving like this. And I'll just be doing like this, and they'll just fly away from me for some stupid reason. I know you're supposed to crouch up on them. Alright. Uh, it's mainly guardians, so what I'm dealing with. So having shields is good. And I want to have the Stasis Rune equipped, too. Stasis Rune equipped is good. It's going to make it so... I run into a flyer. We're going to mess it up. Okay, now I'm standing right in the middle of the room, and I think the guy said don't stand where you spawn, because it's bad. Okay, it's spawning only one at a time. Only one at a time is activating. Let me get a little closer. It only takes one. One parry. It may not activate all of them at one at a time. It may activate two at a time the next time. Yes, that's exactly what I did. Should I retune my guitar? I think you should. It's one, then two, then three. If I knock one out, it's going to be easy to juggle the other. As long as I break their line of sight, they won't shoot me with their laser. Very nice. Oh, you meant untune. Uh, no, no, don't, don't do that. This one is a single walking guardian, I, th I think. Yeah, it's just one. I love how they're using the Hyrule Castle fountain in the middle of this room. This is straight up the Castle Town fountain. The flyer is probably the one I'm going to use, one of the arrows on. How many of those do I have? I have, I have eight. As long as I have one for the line now at the end. Doing pretty good. Next room is a, a turret, a walker, and a flyer, I think, right? This is the single guardian one. What's the next room?
Skywatcher. Skywatcher is the next one. I could try parrying it. That does learn run the risk I could die. Because I don't have the high defense. You're good at killing Guardians but not Lionels. Yeah, because Guardians are just parry. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I could have sworn I had that shot lined up for its eye. Fucking bullshit. That's the, the luck debuff procking. That's what the fuck that is. There's a chest in this room. Hold on. Where's the chest at? Is it up one of the towers? See, killing guardians is real simple. It's just parry their damn beams. Every single guardian has that exact weakness. Lionels require you to be able to do headshots on their head, and for some reason, I struggle uh, getting consistent headshots. Because I'll shoot their head, but it won't stun them. It's like their, their headshot box is like a really, really tiny hitbox on their face or something. If this has more ancient arrows, it'd be even better. Okay, bomb arrows. Bomb arrows ain't bad. Don't take fall damage, idiot. When I see that fucking Lionel, I'm yeeting it. it it's out of here. Right, there's a flyer. This is the one with the flyer and the, the turret. I see the flyer. There's the walker. Ah, uh -huh, there goes my luck. I don't have a shield equipped. I'm about to get hit. Oh, shit. I knew the exact frame that was going to go off. I don't know where the turret one is. Why don't I use bomb arrows against this guy? You can take out their propellers with bomb arrows. There we go. I don't have any ancient weapons though. That's the shit part. I hit their underside. What am I doing? I think the underside is their weak point. What mod should I add to my... SM Smappy? I don't even know what that is, to be honest. The good news is I actually saved those ancient arrows. If I need them again, I'm good. That was the one with the... Where's... Where? It's up there. Okay. Which one is this one? Skywatcher. Skywatcher. Guardian. Turret. Oh, we're actually in the second and the last room. The Guardian turret and the white main Lionel on the next room. So I'm about to clear this. This actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. It's only been... Actually, how the fuck has it been two hours already? What the fuck, dude? Is it... Has it really been two hours? I don't believe that. I, I believe there's some fucking time wizardry shenanigans going on. How come two hours doesn't go by this fast from my fucking work, dude? This is bullshit. Alright, you know what? I, th I think we might Ancient Arrow this guy. 
How many fairies do I have left? Two. God damn it, that's not gonna work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nice, you got the save on that one. Ah! What a load of shit, this isn't gonna work. I love how I'm going to miss every single one of those. It's in a, it's in a really shitty angle for me, though, to parry its damn beam. food up right now. Get that ancient arrow equipped. I am taking out that Lionel first time I go in there. I'm using the bye-bye arrows for the last thing. There's Macoblins too. I don't want to choke on the Macoblins either. Um, they're on horseback. very first thing I'm doing is that Lionel is going away. There's a Tower Guardian, too. Alright, Lionel's gone. Hang out behind here. Bows. Now. Don't die to the fucking Red Book Goblins, please. Let's stay behind cover. They're trying to get me to lose due to by swarm tactics. That guy has a cobble crusher, he has to die. I think there's one fucking Bacoblin left. Then I am so using a goodbye arrow on that last tower. Okay. I have four of these. I need one shot. And then it's gone. I have no more healing food. Oh wait, I have one. I have one healing food, but this... If I get shot by this, it's gonna kill me. Got him. That's it. Oh boy. That run, I was not confident in that run at all because I lost all the yellow hearts I went into it at the second room. This is why I closed out with, with weapons. I I was really dumb. I was brain dead with the first line out fight and forgot I could just yeet it away with the ancient arrow. Uh, duh. Shields are good, armor good, uh, just the two fairies left and no food items left. Now imagine the game crashed. That would just fucking be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's like, bitch, do it all over again. Look, if the game were to crash right now, I would literally be like, alright guys, that's the stream, night! And I just, like, literally would just rage quit. It would be over. I don't know how the champion's ballads are going to be. I just think, I in my head, I think the Master Sword Trial is probably one of the hardest challenges in the game. But the uh, champion's ballot might be a little bit more difficult because you have the 
like annihilator thing and you're down to like a quarter heart there we go challenge completed now let's go do side quests You have done well. The depth of your heroism is beyond question. We are the ones who prepared this trial, following a revelation from goddess Halia. To the one who has overcome the trial of the sword, you have proven your hand worthy of the legendary master sword. Now that the hero has gained the power necessary to combat the calamity, our sacred duty has been fulfilled. Chosen hero. With the awakened Master Sword now boasting his true splendor. Protect the kingdom of Hyrule for now and for always. I find it really interesting that the ancient monks, when they speak, uh, it's literally just like the first few notes of the Tower of the Gods from Wind Waker. Bet you nobody picked up on that one at all. That's the capture we pull. I shouldn't change my thumbnail to that because it would kind of spoil the ending of the whole stream. But that'll be the thumbnail for the next video. Or the next stream. So it won't be a spoiler except for people that watch the videos in sequence. Damn it. Now my Master Sword is permanently erect. Oh, and you can canonically hear Fee now. So how come in Tears of the Kingdom, the sword's not fully powered up, and Link cannot hear Fee at all? Interesting. I do have Tears of the Kingdom, though, to answer your question. I wasn't trying to ignore you. We were just in a cutscene. Ah. So you have finally returned. Your mind, body, and soul are now ready to wield the Master Sword at its full potential. You never fail to impress. <laughs> Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. A blade that can combat the calamity. Link's triumph over the trial of the sword has awakened its true splendor. Only for it to get nerfed in Tears of the Kingdom for some fucked reason. Now you are truly one with that sword of yours. You can have that be a penis innuendo. <laughs> I must say, its sacred glow suits you well. As ever, I shall watch over your journey from here. The princess. I am certain Hyrule's princess is pleased with your accomplishment as well. I actually was not feeling confident of that run, but now, now it's good. Now as far as the Master Sword itself goes when it's fully strengthened, I forget what its stats are, aside from being 60 power.
Hyrule Compendium number 198. I forgot it's in the compendium. I thought I unequipped the damn shield. So we can pull up its stats on it. Zelda Dungeon. No. Right, so... The Master Sword has a base strength of 30 damage. A holy power will be awakened when in the presence of evil. If Link is inside of a dungeon near Guardians or near Malice, the blade of the sword will glow with a light blue aura. When the state, the Master Sword will deal 60 damage and only charge change back to 30, with the exception of the, of the DLC, if it's away from Malice. I can't find... Where's the article that mentions... It's durability. It's like its durability is higher or some shit. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that. It doesn't... The fucking wiki I'm reading is not telling me how much durability it has. Can I tell if your spamming keys are actually typing? I was typing. I just typed that fast. Um, it doesn't list fucking durability. Three or less uses, it'll, it'll have a pop-up saying it's badly damaged, and then I can flash red. Hitting crystal switches does not consume durability. Didn't know that. Why now shields can damage enemies? I didn't know that. I don't know why, there used to be like a website that showed the durability of the Master Sword. Or how many charges it would have. Bullshit. Okay, whatever. Forget it. Its durability is doubled, basically. That's what it was. Oh, you're asking for a Discord server. Okay, hang on. I'll send out an invite. Let's go. We get more people. Get more people. I need to set up a permanent link so I can just post it. There's the Discord server if you want. Okay, so I play what says it has 40 durability. The other cool thing, though, is, I, from what I read, normally when you fire a sword beam, it damages the sword. But when it's fully charged, that sword beam is no longer going to use durability at all. 
Sword Beam will do 10 points of damage to whatever it hits. And the range of the beam is determined by how many red hearts I have. But yeah, come hang out in the Discord. We'd like to chill out, have fun, talk me talk about memes and shit. And games. And of course we share the cute anime images as well. Oh, all yeah. cute all Always. cute no loots. They're always cute. Check out the AI art channel. Cute. I love how when I got it fully charged up, the first thing I said is it's now permanently erect. <laughs> Fucking course. Of course I've said that. Why wouldn't I say that? Now I'm at a loss of what to do for the rest of the stream. What about side quests? How many shrines have I done? There's 120 of them in the whole fucking game. And I... I need to clear them. I've done 59. I've done almost half of the shrines in the game. Oh, I got the full map unlocked. I think most of the ones I'm missing are in areas I haven't been yet. And I teleport somewhere and it's gonna fucking storm, of course. I got my shiny new toy and I want to use my shiny new toy, but I can't because it's gonna fucking rain. Fuck this shit. I'm considering opening up a guide to pull up where all the shrines are. I know the final shrine is right here. Wait, are there... Is there 120 shrines or 100 shrines? It might just be 100, actually. No, there's 120. There's 120. So I guess for the remainder of the stream, we're going to be shrine hunting. I know there's a shrine right here. I haven't done the Lomi shrines yet. I've done the one on the top right corner because it was necessary for DLC. Uh, there's that shrine over there. I know there's one right here. Those are the two I know of. I thought there was a shrine over here. But I think that's Tears of the Kingdom. There isn't a shrine here at all, but there is a side quest there. I think I've got all of Akala shrines. Alright, the Typh the Typhlo Ruins has one. There is a shrine here. Typhlo Ruins has one. Oh, the dude joined. His name is Yiga Blade Master. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a whole mess I missed up in Hebra. I know there's a whole mess that are messed up in Hebrew. There's one up here on the peak. There's like a mountain or something you can go to. There's a bunch near the village too that I can do. Uh, do I have uh, heat resist armor on? I need heat resist on because I'm going to go to Death Mountain real quick. Just to get to a fast travel point that's closest to this area.
Bro, I forgot the name of the name was Yiga Blade Master. That is funny. I just, uh... I play what? Just, uh, try to watch it on the caps, man. We just had someone else get, like, freaking permabanned because they just kept spamming it. Like, we're not gonna time you out right away the first time you do it, but, like, if I if I tell you stop and then you don't do then it's then it'll be a problem. That's the only time it'll be a problem. You forgot your name was Yiga Blade Master. That's funny. I think you are able to change your Discord name. Yeah, you are. I don't know if it's free or if you have to pay for it or what. You used to be able to have numbers next to your name, and they decided to get rid of that for some reason. I don't know why. It's a really dumb idea. Because even my number's gone, I kind of liked my number, but... <sighs> Whatever. I love the fact that that does not eat up durability on the weapon now. No, I'm not high enough. I'm not high enough to make it over that lava lake. So anyone that doesn't know the lore behind the Yiga clan, the Yiga were once part of the Sheikah, but they broke off from the Sheikah and decided to side with Ganon. And like they became cult-like with their worship of Ganon. I think there's actually a funny interaction in Tears of the Kingdom with the Yiga clan and uh, Ganon himself. Oh. Maybe I'm just, like, misremembering this, but I thought there was, like, a cutscene or interaction or something where it's, like, Ganon's like, who are these people? Master Ganon, we are the Yiga! Is, like, it's like, Ganon's literally asking the, the Patrick meme, who are you people? Who are you people? I'm your, I'm your father, son! And it turns out they weren't actually his parents. Oh, oh, yeah. They were a bunch of drifters. Yup. Alright, we're going for the green dot. Green dot. Actual name is 69th Blade Master. What happened to the other 5th, 68 Blade Masters before you? That's that's the that's a question. There are 68 other ones before you. Did they die? Oh, another dude just showed up. There's Chief. There's the one that asked for the Discord invite. We are growing the server. I need, after stream, I need to get a, uh, I need to fart around in it, because the, uh, right now the links expire. I think it's after seven days. There's a way to set up a permanent one. And I need to do that. But I'm glad you can join. We have more people now. It's, it's, this is really cool. Like, opening a Discord is the best thing that I've been recommended to do, because, like, it's just growing the, the community. And, like, instead of, like, for three years where someone will find my streams and then they'll just forget about me because life happens. If they're in a Discord, I can just... It doesn't matter what fucking platform I am. It doesn't matter if I decide to stream on Twitch or on YouTube. I can just go right to stream announcements and go, Oh, hey, I'm going to be live over here. And then you can just hop in VZ and then chat with the community anytime. Exactly. And I'll probably one of those people because I'm a constant viewer of you. Right. You're you're no you're a constant sitter in the voice chat. <laughs> what am I doing on stream right now? You don't have it loaded because it's taking too long. <laughs> I called you out on that shit. <laughs> Get called out. <laughs> Get called out. <laughs> <laughs> you got called out. I just called you right out. It's like, what am I doing in the game right now? 
you shouldn't be able to answer that immediately. You're like, like I would, I would accept maybe like a minute to maybe open a tab or something. If you had like it tabbed out, but nah. Now you'd be slacking. <laughs> he only has one monitor, so he's probably like playing Roblox or something. Who, who were you talking about just now? You, you're, you're usually playing Roblox or watching YouTube poops or something. Oh, I got some homework to work on actually, but it's not too long of a homework work. Oh, I see. I'd be too distracting for your homework. Having Link yeah. climb up a rock completely naked with a big freaking rock crusher on his back. No, I'm not watching the stream though. My homework isn't even too long though. I, all I have to do is just prepare some digital notes for a speech and then prepare that speech. And oh boy, it. speeches. Yeah, it's an inf informative speech for my uh, oral communication class. But I, all I have to do is just prepare notes and then just give the speech itself. And I'll be I fine. would fail an oral communication class. Because I talk at people, and they don't talk with people. Oh. I'm real good at talking at people. I'm doing it right now. Talking with people? Nah. What happened? Traveler from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden within these dark ruins. The Shrouded Shrine. There's a luminous stone. Right, what, what, um... I do have this. This will work. This will give me a little bit of light. Imagine if all the rocks were Ganon's nuts. What the fuck? What do you, what do you mean rocks? Were you talking about tears that, what, what rocks were in tears of the kingdom? Okay, I gotta find an orb. There's a Henox too. I thought it crashed. It didn't crash. Cause oh, I guess when it when it like the game faded to black or something. I need to drop one weapon. I need that torch. The Lynel, the lighty, the mighty Lynel spear. I will drop that. People will hate me for it, but I don't care. Why don't I equip the climbing gear? You know what would be really useful from Tears of the Kingdom right about now? The fucking Luminous Armor. That, that, like, glows. I need to get to a torch. That's not a torch, that's a fire rod. I posted another image in the AI art channel. Is that better for you than the deformations that you notice? That's a lot better, and I love the multicolored hair. It's just like the arm, dude. The arm, like normally I'm fine with like messed up hands or something because I understand that's how that works. But like the arm was just like broken. Too much. <laughs> it was like what the fuck. So many colors. Show it on stream. Show it on stream if you want. Everyone on stream, I think, is in the Discord. <laughs> They could probably see it, or there may be some that are not. Just in case. I don't need the fire rod. Where is... There is a Hinox somewhere. That's... Okay, I'll pin that. The purple pin is where the platform is. I know the ball itself also gives off light. You know what? I remember where the ball is. That's where the Henox is. I have to fight the Henox. Ugh. I suddenly remembered. You have to fight the Henox. The Henox has the orb around its neck. I don't think you can... Can you yeet a Henox with the Ancient Arrow? There's only one way to find out. That works. Master Beam Swords. Master Sword Beams will work.
All right, come on, wake up, dummy. Oh my god. Actually, wait, I can shoot the Hinox in the eye with a sword beam? Okay, this is gonna be broken. Because the sword beam has a wide range on it. Get get melted by sword beam, idiot. And I think yeah, the arm What's up? I just uh sent you a little ping in general. Like for the for the site I used. The the one I was telling you about. Civitai? The, the, no, the one uh the one that allows you to do like plugins and all that stuff. Oh, oh, right. I don't use the Discord program, I just use like the website. Oh, just in case you want to look at it. I'll look at it. I'll check it out. This is a joke. The the Master Sword okay, I think I understand why the Master Sword's not fully powered up in Tears of the Kingdom, because they kinda went, okay, that's a little bit broken. Look, I just melted a fucking Hinox, for God's sake. Come on, dude. He got melted. Idiot. Better pick up the Hinox drops, though, because I will need them. Especially the guts. I don't even know why I marked the damn shrine, because it's... It's right the fuck there. This area in Tears of the Kingdom is actually fully illuminated. It's not covered in darkness. I kind of wish the darkness lifted after you uh, did the shrine. It doesn't. Because there might be a chest or something hidden. Now I can get two stamina wheels, right? Yeah, I think I'm a quarter stamina wheel short. So now we can get two. Hooray! This one's starting to stream. What are you streaming? The Super Mario Brothers movie YouTube Poop Co- <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, you can watch if you want. It just happened in the back of the level. Oh boy, an ancient core. My armor's already maxed. I don't need any more of those. I guess we could buy ancient weapons if I want to dump a lot of money. Did I not turn into quest for that the one guy that I took his money? I think I still have not turned in that damn quest. That dude's probably like, that motherfucker took my life savings and ran. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Undertale or Terraria? Terraria. I've played Undertale. It's, it's pretty fun. I did the, uh... I did every run except the kill everyone run. Genocide? Jesus. I was trying to avoid saying the word genocide. But yeah. I just like, I'm like, whatever. And what's bad is like, Undertale, its story and everything is like, you should, once you do the pure pacifist, you shouldn't like load it up anymore. They kind of want you to like not load it up anymore, but there's... That goes against the game itself because the game is actually designed for you to load it up again. And play and like erase everyone's memories and play it over and over because the game is supposed to fuck you when you do that. And on your first run through the game, like pure pacifist, there's rooms that are programmed to never appear. But on subsequent rooms, there's like Easter eggs and secrets. There's like a few bosses you only fight after doing a true reset. 
Like, when you do a genocide run, I think, um, the only way to wipe everyone's memories that you did that was to do a true reset. And if it didn't, even if it didn't go away with a true reset, I think there was a way you could, like, delete the save data. But I think it was a true reset, so, like, if you did a genocide run and then you reset the game, um, everyone will remember it, and, like, your reflection will be Kara. But I think if you then do a passive, a pure pacifist run at the end, it'll allow you to do a true reset. And, like, when you start up the game, there's, like, nobody on the title screen at all, and it just says, like, true reset. And it has kind of, like, ominous music. I did like the characters in Undertale, though. Like, the game Undertale is really good. I actually did enjoy playing through it. It was a joy to play through. But it's one of those games like you just kind of play through it once and you're kind of done with it. And it actually is a little bit of a short game. You can finish it in about a weekend. Even though it's technically an RPG. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to use the Master Sword until it runs out of charge. Oh my god. It does the critical hits on everything. Oh no. Keys? Fuck the keys. Well, now nah, I'm not gonna be able to mess with him because I gotta be at full health. Hold on, let me, let me munch this apple and then you're fucked. I could do the Terry Town side quest. What's the next one I could do? Do I have uh, heat resistance food? Because I think this one quest I'm going to go do requires me to have heat resistance food. Because you got to stand on a hot plate, basically. I mean, this weapon does 60 points of damage. It's actually. There's very few weapons that'll do 60. The Fierce Deity Sword does 60. The Royal Claymore does 72. But the only reason it does 72 is because it has attack up plus 20. That's the only reason why. Since I play what asked, uh... Undertale of Terraria, which character in Undertale is your favorite? I'd have to think of that on mine. I, I'd, I'd want to say Papyrus, not Papyrus. Was it Papyrus? No. Yeah, Papyrus, not Sans. Papyrus is kind of funny. Kind of liked him. Yeah, he's mostly clueless most of the time, but it helps with his like, funniness. Yes. That and Bone Tussle. The Bone Tussle thing is so good. Do you know that both Papyrus and Sans are named after our scripts? Mm. In Skyrim, uh, Papyrus is the name of the scripting engine in Skyrim. And Sans is actually named after Comic Sans, the uh, typeface. Yep. And if you pay attention in uh, Undertale, he actually speaks in Comic Sans. His text font is Comic Sans. Oh, you like that one dog. Are you talking about the annoying dog? Or are you... No. Okay, you're not talking about the annoying dog. Are you talking about the annoying dog, or are you talking about the dog that you can pet and his, like, head just keeps growing? Oh, Papyrus stops you. But I want to pet the dog. I don't care if its neck keeps getting longer and longer and longer. You know, I don't give a shit about my Master Sword, um... Running out of charge, because there's actually a glitch you can do that instantly recharges it. It is so stupid. Normally, you'd lose a little bit of progress in the world. Because you'd have to teleport to a spot. But once you have the teleportation rune, it, it's just kind of a joke. Boy, there's a shrine up there. Where the dog is just hanging there. 
Okay, I, I don't know if you're talking about Annoying Dog or if it's a different thing. Because, like, the Annoying Dog in uh, Undertale is actually supposed to be the persona of uh, Toby Fox. Yep. And I love how Toby Fox has just given up on game development for some fucking reason. And he's just doing, like, music for other games. He did, like, music for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. He did one track in Pokemon X and Y. Not X and Y. Fuck. Sword and Shield. Not X and Y. I mean, his music's pretty good, though. He actually self-taught himself music. I don't want anyone to go, I can't do shit. Yes, you fucking can. Motherfucker didn't even go to college. Motherfucker literally self-taught himself sprite art, music, and uh, it just opened up Game Maker and fucking made Undertale. Oh yeah, the annoying dog. Okay. Yeah, the annoying dog is is Toby Fox's character. There's a room you can go into only when you New Game Plus. Uh, it's in the snow area before you get to Snowden. There's a side room you can go into. And there's an optional boss you can do. Then on top of that, there's... I think the game has to be played on a certain day. There's a frickin'... Some person got their first Sona put into the game as a boss, and their boss is called So Sorry. I have never encountered it. And I have the PC version of the damn game. You see my post on Twitter today? It's like, um... Someone's like, LOL, I'm playing fucking, um... Princess Peach Showtime before it came out. And they literally show a screenshot of Suyu, and like, literally 24 hours later... Uh, Suyu's fucking GitLab repository gets DMCA'd. Like, I responded to the person that was saying that shit and going... Shut up! Loose, uh, loose lips sink ships. And I just posted, like, the filthy Frank is time to stop shit. What the fuck did I say to that guy? Hold on. What about the giant dog before Snowden? The giant dog before Snowden is best boy. You just, you just pet him. You pet him, and his head gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, it'll wrap around the screen. If you've ever watched Doki Bird, one of her stream starting things is a reference to that, where, like, her neck just goes up and up and up and over and over, and it just, like, wraps around the screen. Okay, apparently people from Hololive have uh, permissions to play Princess Speech Showtime. Although I find it funny, people are saying, is Wait, this game going to... Although apparently, uh... Some people... Are thinking, like, this game's going to be problematic. I'm like, really? Because Princess Peach? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Wait, uh... Did, did you say that Hololive members have the commissions to play that game? Apparently they have permissions to play it because, um... Kiara just posted on Twitter about... Like, she doesn't know if she'll play the game when she comes home. Cause she's okay. seen, she's watching other people play it. Nintendo, oh, okay, this is my girl. response. This is my response to the thing. So like, I recently posted this, it was eight hours ago. It says, Nintendo, post about new game. Dummy, her, her, already playing on Seiyu, or Suyu. Nintendo, DMCA Suyu's GitLab. Dummy, re fracking Nintendo, stop taking down my emulator. Loose lip sync ships, matey. They'll do this again when Paper Mario leaks. And I'm referring to like, some idiot is gonna take a screenshot of Ryu Jinx fucking running Paper Mario when it fucking leaks, and I guarantee you, I fucking guarantee you it's gonna happen all over again. I'm testing now, but I'm on a new save. Never mind, I can't. Oh. Oh, okay. 
I can't remember. I can't remember the specifics on how to spawn that one boss. It is a rough. It is a tough boss though. So I missed out on a lot of optional boss fights. There's also a room that you can come across that uh, only appears on subsequent runs, and it takes you into a room where you run into uh, W. D. Gaster, and then your game just like closes. <laughs> and then when your game loads up, the room is gone. It's meant to be like a weird thing. There is lore about WD Gaster. Like Gaster, um, the internal name of Sans's beam attack is called the Gaster Blaster. And then there's um, the re not the reactor, wherever the hell the power plant is, you go to right before you fight King Asgore. Um, allegedly, there's a lore with that that says that Gaster helped build it along with Sands, but Gaster wound up falling into the reactor and then, like, got... It's like something happened to him where he was just, like, removed from reality. And he's, like, between realities or some shit. Who wants to bet? Like, pl place your bets now. Princess Peach Showtime came out on a Tuesday. Well, it came out today... But it leaked on Wednesday. It was leaked on Tuesday. I knew it was going to happen this week. I knew it was going to be on a Tuesday because um, it, it was going to leak when uh, stores were going to get it in stock. Because there's literally people that are paying people to, like, steal the games. Because they are stealing them, technically. And breaking street date. I mean, if it's a mom and pop shop and they're just, like... Um, ringing up a different game in their inventory and then correcting it later, then it's technically not stealing because money has changed hands, but it is fraudulent. It's a fraudulent purchase. How am I getting blown up? Where's the other guy? Oh, you little bitch. Who's the boss after Papyrus? That's, um... Isn't that Undyne? Isn't Undyne the boss after Papyrus? Because you go to the waterfall area next. It's snowed in, then waterfall, then the super hot area. Then it's the reactor. And then finally you go, um, fight Asgore. You fight Metaton at some point. When did you fight Metaton? No, wait, there's Alfie's lab. Alfie's lab is somewhere, so it's... Is it Waterfall, then Alphys' lab, or is it Waterfall, the hot, hot land, and then Alphys' lab? I forget the order. But it's a... I know the next one is, um... Is Undyne. And it's not a boss fight, actually. Unless you're doing the genocide run. Then it's Undyne to Undyne. What's with the piano room before Undyne? Uh, you can put in, uh, an input. There's, a like, an umbrella in a following room that, um, plays a sound. It plays a little jingle. If you replicate that jingle, I think it opens up a room. Because I have done that. Then, of course, there's there's Temi. Temi, uh, everyone's favorite character in that game, is actually the name of the artist that worked on the art in the game. So they worked on a lot of the art of the game. And their avatar actually is like the little dog. <laughs> Temi weirds me the fuck out though. What's really fucked up is after you encounter Temi in their shop, you can actually go and fight them later on. And the, I think that's like the next encounter or some shit. And I forget what happens if you spare them or try to kill them or something. I think you get I think you get all their money or something. When you do a genocide run, you do have to fight Temi. And the really messed up part is when you kill Temi, you go back to Temi's shop, it's, they're gone. Like, the shop is just straight up empty. You'll walk in, there's like nobody's there. I never did get the love armor. From Temi. It was just like too much money. So unfortunately, I did not help Temi go to Kolek.
Although I did find out in the very, like, fa final boss fight, it's impossible to die. Like, it'll just say, but it refused, and then you just go back. So that's good, because I, I kind of sucked at that fight. Although it was annoying to fight, uh, f like, fucking, whatever the hell it's called, Flowey. Because Omega every time you Flowey. die... What's it called? Omega Flowey. Yeah, Omega Flowey. It's the one with the TV. Um, because, like, every time you fucking die, it spams you with, like, ah, and then, like, your game crashes and you have to reopen it. I want to be like Toby Fox or Curious Abe, Stardew Valley Creator. Have I played Hollow Knight? I have not played Hollow Knight. I should play Hollow Knight, but I don't like I don't like playing games that are gonna make me snap my controller in half. It's bad enough I tried playing Dark Souls and Elden Ring. You know what? Let me see if I can melt this Hinox. How badly can I melt this dude? I hit him right in the eye. I've already got a quarter of its health down. <laughs> this is a joke. This feels like a cheat code. This actually feels like a cheat code to me. I don't like weapon durability in Breath of the Wild. It makes the game suck. Get the fucking Master Sword to do the Master Sword trials. It makes the game a joke. You can literally kneecap the game. The, the damn Master Sword, fully powered up, is literally the fucking hover bike of this game. Speaking of hover bikes, I want to get the damn Zero Cycle. So for the remainder of this stream, I'm going to be doing uh, shrines and shrine quests, try to get as many shrine things as I can, because I'm going to have to get all those done on stream anyway. I'm just going around murdering Hinoxes right now. I'm so- the fact that it doesn't damage the weapon, either. Is so stupid. Royal Broadsword. It's 36 power weapon. Do I have anything that's less than 36? I have the... Frost weapons. I don't. Okay. We'll just leave it. You should play it. It's a masterpiece. I might as well, because Silk Song is never coming the fuck out. Like, what do you think's gonna come out sooner? Metroid Prime 4 or fucking Silk Song? Genuine question. Gut check rock. Why does this guy look so m angry? So mad. Look at him. My man, you're gonna have dental problems if you keep gritting your teeth like that. He's like, I'm angry! Silk Song is like GTA 6. The stream only goes up to 480p. Yeah, it does. It goes up to 480p because I live out in the countryside and uh, I can't push higher. I've actually tried. I tried pushing um, 720p and it doesn't work. Like, it, the stream is just unwatchable because my internet cannot handle it. So, um, 480p is the maximum I will push. And this doesn't matter on YouTube, but on Twitch, I don't have access to transcoding, so it has the added benefit that, like, people can watch on, like, 4G or 3G and be still be able to watch the stream. I'm going to get a drink. I'll be right back.
Oh, hey, Chica. Hello. What's the noise going on in your background? I hear the faint sound. My siblings. Uh. Oh, Chifu's in the chat. Hello, Chifu. Cricket, cricket. Why? I can't. I can't get up and stretch. I've been live for over two hours. Don't you know? Every hour you're supposed to stop playing games for and, and take a little break. Don't you, you don't want to get carpal tunnel, do you? Because then you can't play video games anymore without feeling like you're in excruciating pain. That's actually really bad. Are you, uh, are you there? Oh, he's deafened. He's deafened. He deafened himself. Yeah, he, he might have something going on. He has siblings in the back causing noise. Definitely means he's turning the, uh, the audio of the the call off. Otherwise, he'd have his microphone muted. It might be because of um, I'm on the stream and I'm in the call, so it's going to cause a weird echo. Hello. Hello. I hear you. I pick up a rock and there's not a single yahaha. -ha. Oh wait, there's the yahaha. -ha. Yahaha! -ha. Yep, yep. All right. Show me your power. Pump it up, brother! By the guys, I love me some muscle. That's right. Here is our hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come and get ripped and shredded. This is where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. Ripped and shredded. Rip and tear. Is it right? Leaving now. <laughs> um, please move. I ain't moving the muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. This is a special platform. What's your username? What's going on? How do you pronounce your username? How do I plan on my username? Or how do I come do up with pronounce? it? Oh, it's just Tsukino. Tsukino Azura. You can just call me Azura. Okay. Or Azura. I say Azu. Azura, Azu, Blue. Okay. Who would win? Broccoli Man or, or Hetsu? The Goron would win. The Goron would snap Hestu in half like a fucking twig. He'd pick him up and swing him around and throw him halfway across Hyrule, dude. Said, so, this is a special platform. Sacred even. Only real Goron men as decided by us three Goron blood brothers are allowed. Besides, my littlest bro is in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. 
Almost like you have a girl on here about you. I like it. So what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. Yeah, that's it. If you can clear a hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Say, so count me in, brother. <laughs> Good answer, brother. We're gonna shred you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Let me explain how this hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Simple as a deadlift, brother. Starting from the bottom, you gotta climb back up here within the time limit. But don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge, little man. You gotta pick up rupees as you go. Get up the clip from the time limit and grab a passable amount of rupees. Do that and you pass the test. If you run out of time and decide to give up halfway through your climb, you have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. We're gonna help you push past your limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. Okay, enough messing around. It's time for the hardest of hardcore feats. Good check challenge! I'm just imagining he's he's like sounding like um Hulk Hogan. Cause he goes, brother! Are you ready to get macho madness? You're gonna get ripped! You're gonna get torn! We're gonna turn you into a man! Macho Madness! He thought Chihuahua was Chinchilla. I read it so wrong, dude. I keep forgetting that's how Chihuahua is spelled. Yeah, we're gonna cheat a little bit, because we're gonna use the climbing armor. I gotta collect 100 rupees. Should have fired up some mushrooms too before doing this. There was a cooking pot at the bottom. Could have made one. Did I? I can still open my inventory. Nope, don't have any rush food. chat. See how many rupees I got? Funny number of rupees. Well, now I don't. Now it's ruined. I'll be 95. I just need a blue one now. I'm cutting this real close, dude. Hundred twenty six rupees. I am now the fourth Goron brother. Every time I check my battery percentage, it's always sixty nine. I think I'm cursed. That's not that's not cursed. That's actually good. It's a lot better than my curse. I see the number six 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 everywhere. I mean everywhere. I I am marked with the symbol of the beast. Totally, I'm getting my 69th day streak in Duolingo. 
Nice. Oh no, not Duolingo. What, what are you studying in Duolingo? Doing the Spanish, doing French, studying Mandarin. I said totally, and it says today. Nice. Not a great frost blade? Nah. I don't need no great frost blade. Don't know if it will happen on stream or not, because when the Master Sword's fully charged up, it has a lot of durability. I think it's like 200 or something. Dun, 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 dun. Now that I have the Master Sword, I could probably melt Lynels. Just wail on him. I don't have to rely on riding on their backs. I think it Tears of the Kingdom is when you come up here and you gotta stand on the hot plate. That's the problem with Tears in this game sharing the same map. I love the sound effect, impressive. <laughs> Put me side by side by real life Peter Griffin. Just give me the same outfit and everything. I wonder if you could tell the difference. Well, I'd be like the cooler Peter, uh, the cooler Peter Griffin with a beard. <laughs> like, yeah. And next time I did your mom. <laughs> so you're in a mission to 100% Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Actually, that's the goal. This is a full playthrough. We gotta get all the shrines done. We gotta get the side quests done. I'm doing the Korok seeds off stream because uh, otherwise I'd, I'd have like 30 episodes of me just hunting Koroks. Because I have to zoom my map in all the way to show where the that Koroks are. If I did that, it would just it would, it would just be the last few streams of the of the damn game, and it'd be like Azura loses their damn mind. Part one, two, three, four. Want to do a challenge? Oh god, I don't want to play Master of Mode. I will snap my controller in half, dude. I have all the Akala ones, I think. I'm pulling up the interactive map real quick. Interactive map. That's Zelda Dungeon. Where's the IGN one? That's the one I want. I want to see who can do the Peter laugh better. Well, I'm pretty sure real life Peter Griffin can do it. Because he's, he's done it for such a while. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Where are the red dots on here? I can't even scroll. I want to. I want to filter. I can't scroll the filters over here. Why? My notes. My groups. Hide. It might have been Zelda Dungeon. I cannot scroll the the filters. It's not fucking letting me. I straight up cannot scroll the filters at all. It's like the whole right hand side is just not there. I can't even hide the markers. Okay, we're gonna use another interactive map. There's a Zelda dungeon one, I think. And there's also Map Genie. It's like, for whatever fucked reason. Okay, it was the Zelda dungeon one was the one I was doing, because that's the one that has all the damn Koroks. That's a... That's a lot of Koroks. Ah. <laughs> Uh, 
There is one Korok out on the damn island in the clue to see. Filters. Um, hit none. Hit shrine. Zoom out. We go to Akala. Make sure we got all the ones listed there. So there is... Oh, no. We missed one. There's one right here. There's one on Tingle Island. There's the tower one. This one. One directly north of here. This one might be linked to a... A quest. I think that one is actually linked to a quest. So I did not get all the ones in Akala yet. Right now, I've just been doing this just to kill time. The goal of this stream was to clear the Master Sword trial. Now that that's done, the remainder of the stream is just going to be me doing shrines and shrine quests. Where's the stable at? I have to go inside the stable. So, how early do you think, um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remake is going to leak? Its official release date is on, I think it's on a Tuesday. It is the 23rd of May. So, I would say the latest would be on Tuesday the 21st, and the earliest would be on the 7th. The game has sold out in pre-orders. It's toward the end of May, so it probably would be like toward the roll. beginning of it. Looking for someone with a little icon above their head. This you. Oh. All right, it's this guy. This is the guy that talks about the shrine. Painting was made by Ozunda, the owner of the stable, oh. right here. Okay, in the background, so majestic, and the stable is suitable in the scenery. Oh. Painted from a southern direction, the composition is so impressive. Landscape of a stable. You actually have to do that quest to find it. It's the purple marker on the map. But I think in order for that shrine to be there, you do have to start the quest. Or this may be one of the few shrine quests that if you touch the shrine and you haven't activated the quest, it'll activate and then immediately clear the quest. That uh, fire Lazalfos. Nah, it's a black one. I haven't run into a silver Lazalfos yet. Oh, what? Master Sword Beams do not blow up barrels. Ow. Where are you? I don't know why this shrine is tied behind a quest, because it comes up on your radar, too. Something I wish Tears of the Kingdom did that this game didn't do. I wish you were able to register favorites for armor and just like push a button and be able to switch between them. That's something that should have been done, but they didn't, which is a little bit lame. Maybe in the next game on the next Nintendo system. Has anyone watched GDC this year? Because I, I haven't, because I've just seen it's just a bunch of, like, woke nonsense. There's, like, one dude that literally went on GDC, and they're like, 
Mega Man's problematic. There's no characters of color. I'm like, motherfucker, there are black characters in Mega Man. Tell me you have never played Mega Man without saying you've never played Mega Man. God fucking damn it. Oh, coblins. I'm going to murder. Someone's gonna get bombs in her face. Bombs? Bombs? I missed. Bombs? Oh wait, bad idea. Too close, too close. Bombs? 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 I, I may like bombs a little too much. The fuck? I'm, I'm just blowing... I'm just blowing shit up with bomb arrows and going bombs. Bombs? <laughs> bombs, bombs, bomb, 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 bomb. That's me in Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. Bombs? I literally go into the underground, get all the damn pose, and buy all the damn bombs. And just fucking go goddamn terrorist on everything. In the name of Goddess Hylia! <laughs> I'm gonna get cancelled for doing that. I swear to god. How dare you go I'm like, fuck off. I'm just having fun. I'm gonna have fun. You hate it? Good. Stop watching. This is America. I'll make Native American war cries if I goddamn want. Dude, remember that one instance, I think it was someone was wearing, like, a headdress? And it was like, Twitter made a big stink about this one white person wearing a fucking Native American headdress. Something about, like, the cultural significance or some shit, and I'm like... Are the people complaining white people? If the answer is yes, your opinion is not valid. <laughs> the only people that get to complain are Native Americans. Bonus points, uh, Native Americans of the exact tribe the headdress is from. Like, as a white person, I can say you're not eating cheese right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being versacious. Don't listen to me. I'm just being stupid. You can eat cheese however you want. You can put cheese on an Oreo if you want. I will probably judge you if you put cheese on an Oreo. Because that would probably taste fucking disgusting. Imagine that, a chocolate Oreo with cheese in the middle. <laughs> that would, that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> God. Christ. Yeah. Just the idea of a cheese and chocolate Oreo. Cheddar cheese and chocolate. Those two flavors do not mix. Just, just no. What, what if it was deep fried? A deep fried cheddar chocolate Oreo. <laughs> Someone from Epic Meal Time do that right now. Make an Oreo burger. Jeez. <laughs> Poor Laura. I'm subjecting him to this torment. I mean, hey, we, this is America. We deep fried a Twinkie. Why the hell not? <laughs> that is a delicacy. That is something that Americans did. It's like American cuisine. Add sugar to everything, add, like, fucking chemical taste to everything, and deep fry it. Our chocolate tastes like vomit, according to Europeans, that eat actual chocolate. Like, actual real milk chocolate, too. I'm not saying, like, chocolate chocolate. Like, there's milk chocolate in Europe. It's just, like, how the chocolate is made. Like, I think it's usually powdered milk is, what's, is how chocolate is made. When Hershey was trying to make chocolate, there was a lot of dairy farms in the area, and he was trying to use, like, liquid milk for the chocolate, and it just wouldn't work out right. Like, he would hire chemist after chemist, and they all gave up on him, and he said, fuck you, you're fired. And, like, this mad lad out of nowhere somehow 
does like alchemy and fucking manages to get it to work. But the side effect is like anyone that has tasted real milk chocolate will come to America and eat a Hershey's bar and say it, it kind of tastes like baby vomit. Uh, like, how the fuck do you know what baby vomit tastes like? Are you, like, going around, going like, mmm, fresh baby vomit. Yum. Jesus. It has to do with the chemical that they use to have the actual milk chocolate work. It's, like, uh, an aftertaste will give it, like, baby vomit aftertaste. I'm like, I never noticed it. Bong, 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 bong. That dude dropped a diamond. The shrine's over in this direction. Oh look, there it is. And I hit that and it's gonna say... Will pop up the shrine quest? No, it didn't. Okay, it's one in Elden then. I guarantee you this fucking can of spray cheese in here. There's probably something in it that's gonna cause cancer. What ingredient would it be? Let's see. Uh sodium phosphate, maybe? Cause that's phosphorus. Sodium citrate, that's that's sodium mixed with something from citrus. What about carrageenan? Car carrageenan. Or no, 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 wait. No, this is what would cause it. The Glucono Delta Lactone. That sounds like something that's a carcinogen. Hmm. Glucono Delta Lactone. What the, Okay, so... Let's try to decipher what the fuck that is. So, Glucono is something that's uh, made from glucose. And, yeah, there's two things of sugar in it. I don't know what Delta is. Delta is just like the arrangement of it. And then Lactone. So which is lactate. It's like uh, the thing that like lactose intolerant people can't have. It's lactose. So glucose delta lactone is glucose and lactone. The um, enzyme formed together in the form of a delta. Like a triangle. Where the two merge together. I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's, let's look that up. Let's, find, let's learn something on stream tonight. We're going to get educated. I always spell this. Glue. I'm not a chemist at all. I've never gone to college for chemist. I'm just like, my IQ is high enough. I could probably look at a word and try to discern what it could possibly mean. Glucono, delta, lactone. The fuck is that? G, D, L. Also known as gluconolactone, is an organic compound with the formula HOCH3, uh, HOCH squared, HOCH cubed, or no, HOCH cubed, HOCH squared, CHCO. Colorless solid, it's an oxidized derivative of glucose. Okay, so it's oxidized glucose, which is derived from sugar. It's typically produced by the aerobic oxidation of glucose in the presence of the enzyme glucose oxidize. The conversion con can generate hydrogen peroxide, which is often the key product of the enzyme. Wait a minute. Like, the shit that burns when you rub it on a wound? Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical compound. H2O2. Oh my, wait a minute. The difference between hydrogen peroxide and water is it has two oxygen molecules? Wait a minute, hold on, I didn't know that. Because water's compound is H2O, it's two hydrogen, one oxygen. But then hydrogen peroxide has two hydrogen and two oxygen. Oh my. It's an oxidizer, a bleaching agent, and an antiseptic. Okay, so that's why it has... The conversion can generate hydrogen peroxide. Which is what's used to oxidize it, I guess. It 
So it's a colorless solid oxidized derivative of glucose. I don't like browsing Wikipedia too much because then you're like, uh, could you donate to us, dude? I'm like, stop. Glucose is a sugar. It's overall the most abundant mono... Sac I can't pronounce this fucking word. Monosac... Charide? The subcategory... It's a subcategory of carbohydrates, which is like 100% of my fucking diet. It's mainly made by plants and most algae joining photosynthesis from water and carbon dioxide using energy from sunlight, which is used to make cellulose and cell walls. The most abundant carbohydrate in the world. Glucose for metabolism is stored as a polymer in plants, mainly as starch, and animals as, of, as glycogen. Circulates in the blood of animals as blood sugar. Natural forming, uh, naturally occurring form of glucose is D-glucose. While a stereo isomer, I'm surprised I read that word, L-glucose is produced synthetically in comparatively small amounts and less biologically active. It contains six carbon atoms in an aldehyde group and is an aldohextrose. It's a simple sugar. Six carbon atoms. Glucose module can exist in an open chain. Glucose as an intravenous sugar solution is a World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. It's also in the list of a combination of sodium chloride, you know, table salt. Oh, the name is derived from ancient Greek. It means wine and must. Or sweet. The suffix os is a chemical classifier denoting a sugar, so sweet sugar. Well, I guess that kind of describes the chemical. It was first isolated from raisins in 1747 by a German chemist. It was discovered in grapes by another German chemist. You think it'd be the Italians that would have discovered that, since they have vineyards. Distinguished as being different from cane sugar, which is sucrose. So sucrose is from sugar cane. Glucose is from grapes. What about fructose? What the fuck is that from? It says it's found in many plants. What's fructose from? Fructose or fruit sugar. It's found in many plants where it's often bounded to glucose. Oh, it's bound to glucose. Absorbed by the gut directly into the blood of the portal vein during digestion. The liver converts both into fructose. Hmm. Fructose is derived from cane, sugar cane, sugar beets, ma maize? M A I Z E. Maize? Or known as corn. That was from corn. High fructose corn syrup is a mixture of glucose and fructose as mono. Saccharides. Uh, this is the word I can't pronounce again. Sucrose is a compound of one molecule of glucose covalently linked to one molecule of fructose. All forms of fructose, including those found in fruits and juices, are commonly added to foods and drinks for palatability and taste enhancement. They just make it taste too fucking sweet. And browning for some foods, such as baked goods. As of 2004, about 240,000 tons of crystalline fructose were being produced annually. Good God! Yo, who popped up in the chat? Oh, it's uh, Chifu again. Oh. Hello. Guess who's back? Back again. Tell a friend. Well, what did he say, Chifu? Shady's back. Tell a friend. Enough about fructose and all this other t 
toast. The viewership's dropping. Oh, look at this guy. Bong, bong, dead. Bro, what if, what if someone did a challenge run of... Okay, would it be possible to complete the Master Sword Trials with three red hearts? You'd have to be good at dodging and, like, not getting hit. You get hit once, you're dead. I think... I think I had to fight a Lionel in the, in the middle trials. So that would be a problem. I know what it wants me to do, but let me try this instead. I thought I could yeet bombs higher than... I could. I can't. Oh wait, that did work. That did work. How's it work? What's up? So are you trying to finish Zelda? Yes. I am trying to finish it. Right now I'm just doing shrine quests. I did the Master Sword Trials. I got them all done. That was the goal of tonight's stream. Now I had a little bit of time left before 11 o'clock when I'm going to end stream. So I'm like, let me do all the shrines that I can in the time I got. Because I have to get those done anyway. Then I got sidetracked about talking about fructose. What about the Calamity? Have you killed it? No, I have not. I killed Calamity. No, I just played the uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. And I'm now I'm trying not to quit Tears <laughs> of the Kingdom because I already killed Ganondorf. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean I haven't finished all all the shrines. I Go get all the Korok them. seeds. Go get all one thousand two hundred Korok seeds. That'll keep you busy for a good century. <laughs> yeah, I do have to it, it will. I mean, I'm still trying to get my shrines. Alright. What did you say? Do you have Tears of Kingdom? Do you play it? Yeah, I did. Or are you trying to finish, uh, Tears of Kingdom? I played Tears of the Kingdom, um, really early. I, it was almost a month early because my uncle works at Nintendo and he hooked me up with a copy. He just said, don't you utter a single fucking word about anything in this game or I swear to God. Nice. He got real mad at me when, like, people started saying, hey, it runs on Ryu Jenks just fine. I'm like, I didn't fucking do it. That wasn't me. Okay, he basically said Aonuma was really fucking pissed when it happened. He, he was like screaming shit in Japanese that he knew was a bad word, but they couldn't tell him what the words were. It's just like he just knows that it's like based on the context. It was just ups he was very mad. Using the master sword as intended to cut grass. I should buy the Sheikah armor. I should be doing. Do I have... Do I have Sheik Amiibo registered in the super secret menu? I don't think I do. Do I? Uh, no, I do not. I need to... Azura, are you going to stream tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Friday? No, today's tomorrow Saturday. Sunday. I'm Saturday. Saturday. Nah, probably not. I normally don't stream on weekends, but that might change. If I'm up to it, I'll probably post on the Discord if I do decide to do an unscheduled stream. I haven't played Princess Peach Showtime yet. Maybe I'll stream that tomorrow. If I decide to stream. Or maybe I'll just play it on my own, I don't know. I don't know what that's the new game that came out. Uh, Mario? You play you play as Princess Peach. Oh. It's like she goes to, she gets invited to some theater. In the theater you got taken over by this this one person and you gotta save it. 
basically. It's just like basic bare, bo bare bones excuse for gameplay. Go to the theater, but something bad happened, so now you have to help. You have to stop it. Why did it have to be raining right here? I think this shrine was actually underwater. Or not underwater, but underground. So, yeah, I, wait, there it is. Do you play Fortnite? I play it off and on. I can't use bomb arrows because fucking rain, dude. But I did play Fortnite and I stopped. I, I just can't get into it. I can't get into Fortnite. You got I just always find dropping into the same map and just trying to scramble for stuff and like competitive stuff to be boring. I just I get bored really fast on it. Azura. What's up? Is it actually hard for you to kill Lynels? I have a little bit of trouble. It's like mainly the headshots. I have a hard time lining up that headshot. Oh. I, I can't get out of the water because every time I grab onto the rock I slip. I'm gonna fucking drown, lol. If I could have one cheat code for this game, it would be a cheat code to turn rain the fuck off. That would be the cheat code I would want. There's a slip-resistant armor in Tears of the Kingdom, but even when it's fully powered up, you still slip in the rain. Which one is it? What's what? Which one is what? Yeah, what well, armor? Uh, you get it from... I forget what it's called. It's like a frog suit armor or something. Oh. You get it from doing the, the one side quest where you report. You do the reporting thing. With the coolest side character ever, the, the Pelican guy. I forget his name. He's so fucking cool. I like him. I think it's the climbing gear. No. The climbing gear reduces your climbing stamina use and increases your climbing speed. I thought if you uh, upgraded enough, you could, like. like climb. Surfaces. I've never upgraded it, so I can't tell for sure, but I don't think so. That's that's the Tears of the Kingdom armor. And it doesn't actually make it so you can climb on wet surfaces. It makes it so that you can climb a little bit more before you slip, I think. Which is not what the hell the armor says, which is bullshit. Although, why would you climb in Tears of the Kingdom when you can just make the hover bike? Like, as soon as you get the Master Sword, you just turn all your stamina wheels back into fucking Red Hearts. Summon the hover bike. Just, just do auto build and summon the hover bike. Even in the cave, just summon it. A control stick and two fans. That is how you kneecap the whole game. Uh, very carefully. <laughs> you just slide very, very carefully. I cannot do that. Yeah, dude. What's up? I posted up another image in AI art. I think this one is a bit more cute than my usual one. Oh, yes, it is. Who's this, uh, who's this other guy? This is Degber. He's one of the moderators. That's nice. You're also in the chat with Laura, who is one of the moderators in the chat as well. Hello. So, everyone in here is a moderator? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. 
This isn't a moderator exclusive chat. This is just these two just happen to be moderators. Anyone can hop into this. Yeah, but Azu has made me and Lur uh, moderators because he's known us for quite a bit, and he trusts us. Yeah, because Lur is a longtime viewer, and Degra has been consistent. And they and don't I've like. Joined on, I've joined you on numerous occasions playing with you. Yeah, I moderated both um, Degber and Devo after I did a Minecraft uh, SMP with them for a little bit. I still have that save too. Yep, I'm glad I can watch that when I ever want to. What do you mean watch it? I mean I I have the world saved. You can like play it with me any other time. I know. I meant the YouTube stream. Oh. What uh? What did you think on the new picture that I posted in AI art? I didn't really see it. It is it is adorable. I knew it. I knew cat girls would be adorable. Cat girls are cheat codes for adorableness. It's unfair how cute they are. Serious question: Should cat girls have human rights? They should. Cat women? Yes. Cat what? <laughs> I'm just trying to get canceled here. What? But like, bro. <laughs> if they're genetically engineered for domestic ownership, though, that implies they don't have human rights. But they should. But what? Are you good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just. I'm just fucking saying controversial Azura, shit. Azura, Azura, Azura. Yeah. Like, would you use? Uh, gloom weapons? What I use gloom? I use them all the time when I can. I just cheese them with yellow hearts. Oh. I also cheese them with the gloom armor. I think the gloom armor is able to counteract the effect for a little bit. That's nice. How old are you? Uh, I'm in my thirties. Thirty? Yeah, I've been around since nineteen ninety. Back in my um, day, there wasn't even a Google. That's actually and true, there wasn't a Google. And, uh, and, I'm a, and I'm 19, I'm basically an adult teenager at this point, but I don't care with who I talk with, as long as I make friends with them, then they're, they're, they're good to me. I do have a series of rules of engagement, though. Like I usually have a more um, loot power level, but I don't do it in calls with my, my group here because you now there's people different ages. Like if you're a teenager you could kinda get away with talking about loot shit around people that are in your age group, but like as soon as you get to be like twenty something, that's when you have to really go like, okay I'm an adult, I can't talk about shit like this around teenagers because then it's like a power problem. Yeah. I don't really mind to be honest. It doesn't matter if you mind it, it matters like me getting cancelled. That is true. I'm 14. You'll be 14 in a few days or a few months? Oh, cool. In April. Hey, don't rush it, man. Enjoy being a kid while you can, because then when you grow up, you gotta do taxes and stuff. Shit, I have to do my taxes. Uh, let me do that real quick. I'll be back. You got until the 15th. I should probably do them at some point. There's actually got taxes. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, if you work a job, it doesn't matter if someone can claim you as independent or not. You gotta do taxes. I know you're supposed to climb this, but. I'm gonna use Ravioli's gill to cheese it. <laughs> Got it. Ravioli! Ravioli's gale. It's Ravioli's gale. I just call him Ravioli. Either that or Falco. 
because his smug aura is just totally Falco. Falco, Falco. Ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli, lewd the dragon loli. What do you mean it doesn't go like that? Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. The formula is people. Everyone knows that's the Krusty Krab secret formula is people. It's made out of people. Oh wait, that's the creepy pasta. Never mind. See, Squidward doesn't know the Krusty Krab secret formula. SpongeBob does. Maybe that's why SpongeBob seems so happy because when he was when he was told the secret formula, it was so disturbing that it actually just like broke his mind. He, he jizzes on the Krabby Patty. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ew, that's disgusting. I apologize. Wait, do, do you know the ultimate Lino Killer? No. You don't know the ultimate Lino Killer uh, weapon? Nope. You don't? I do not. You've been having to use a kid longer than me. Are you talking about the glitch? Weapon, Master Sword. No. 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 Is it the mech? No. It's a sword. Oh. Uh, oh, look, a Blood Moon. Sword. What's it fused with? Oh, you got, you, got a, you got a Blood Moon happening? Blood Moon! The moon's having its period! Ew! It's a oh. I forgot about the pristine, yeah, the pristine weapons. It's fused with a silver lino, silver lino silver horn. Oh, okay. That would probably melt it all right. I mean, you gotta have it. To, you gotta get it to a uh, one shot. So if you like smack it against something, it like, automatically breaks. Ah. Uh. So it deals double damage. And it's too many. Does it break the fused part, or does it break the whole weapon? It breaks the whole weapon. Ouch. Like if you smack it against something. Like shooting lines, shooting them in the face, using the weapon in their back so it doesn't break. All right. All right. That you're talking about the Philly Beach Beach you uh, video. I think I remember seeing that. Because Philly Beach you uh, showed you how to do it. It was like the pristine version of the weapon. Um, you put some sort of fusion on it, which is what you said. Then you have to drink, uh, you wear, you either had to wear the armor that boosts your attack or drink the potion that boosts your attack all the way up. You don't have to. But that'll, like, max out the damage to make it, like, 400 per hit or some shit. Yeah, you're right. I bled on the moon, you idiot! <laughs> You have 24 hours before the the blood droplets come off the moon, and I bleed on you too. <laughs> yeah, I think I've you have 24 you. hours to comply, or I'll piss on you too. I bleed on you too. I was trying to reference the Eggman, like the fandom one. Yeah. With the with the shadow, the hedgehog face. Dude, Sean, Sonic and Shadow X Generations is coming out this year. Oh, is everyone yeah, salt right. on that? Excuse you. How did the other guys not wake up from all that fighting? That's bullshit. You saw that sneak strike not connect, right? That is some bullshit, dude. The game is fucking with me. I have all these other weapons and I'm not using them. Alright, where's the ball? Let's see, the silver Lizaval 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 Sworn. And the Savage Lionel's Shield. 
and the Savage Line Elbow. I love all the fusion mechanics in Tears of the Kingdom. That, that's what saved Tears of the Kingdom for me with the fusion mechanics. Although, I will say, fuck Nintendo for charging 70 fucking dollars for Tears of the Kingdom just because they could. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Everyone agreed that that was bullshit. Absolutely everyone. Except the Nintendies that bought it. They're like, ah, I'd be bad. No. That's bullshit. The game should not be $70. Tori, Tori are you gonna ever play Tears of... I mean, not Tears of Kingdom, Hollow Knight? Um, sometime in the future, but right now I got a lot of games I need to finish up. It's a good game. Trust. I, I know it's a good game because everyone keeps praising it. Fortunately for me, I'm not one of those people that go, if someone keeps praising a game, I get tired of hearing it, and, I, and then I don't want to play it. Because some people are like that. Some people are like, if someone like talks about the game too much, it like turns them off from wanting to play it. I also recommend it. Yep. Alright. One big surprise from the Nintendo Direct recently was the fact that Ender Lilies is getting a spiritual sequel. I'm actually surprised on that. Yeah, I, I know I can, like, walk around the entire spiral, but, like, this is faster. Just go this way. This shouldn't be deep water because those all folks are hanging out in it. It should be shallow. Do you go to the Lionel Coliseum just like me? Like every blood and... I, I don't. Oh. I keep forgetting it exists. Honestly, I go so bored of... Oh, sometimes I just get blood and I just go to the Lionel Coliseum. Oh. And all the spawn locations. That's something I've forgotten in this game. If I wanted to do a true 100% completion, I would need to get all the Korok Seeds. And I'd also need to fight every single boss. In both tiers and in this game, if you fight a boss and after a Bloodman you go back to that boss again, it'll have like a little icon next to its name. I think it's a star to denote that you've already killed it in the past. Yeah. And I think you can talk to Katen and he gives you a medal if you do that. We want achievements in our Nintendo games. Here's your achievement, bro. It's literally a fucking golden turd. <laughs> Hetsu spreads his ass cheeks and just... <laughs> Lizards. Oh. It's 11 o'clock already. Darn it. Someone posted something in Dream Memes. I see, uh, I see, I see Pingus. Someone posted Pingus. I, I have agree. not watched that one anime with that elf girl that you've posted. I've seen people on Twitter talk about it. <laughs> Yo, it's a elf classic Can I watch that on Netflix? Because I don't want to give, I don't want to give uh, Crunchyroll any money. They're owned by Sony now. Just be up. I have a question. I have a very important question. What is it? Are you black? What? No. Why, why would that matter? I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't be racist. <laughs> Man, that's my favorite part of life. Don't be racist. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's my favorite part of life. Hey, we do not talk like that here. Stop. Please, please don't. Please don't, not, don't even joke like that, dude. Don't. Please. Why? Because the rules. Oh. Respect to remember. Like, it's racism, sexism, swears targeted at someone falling under this rule. It's like rule number one. 
Read the rules. Read the rules. <laughs> The sacred or rules. else, yeah. Or else, if you don't read them, we will get angry. <laughs> God damn it! Always oh, so fucking. <laughs> Why? My fucking ears. I My point is. Every time. <laughs> it's funny as hell, though. It's very funny. I mean, I like to browse uh, slash B every now and then, like any other basement dweller, but like there's a time and place for everything, but not here. <laughs> gotta, gotta love that button smashing ASMR. I need to check and see if um, I can downgrade my copy of. Tears of the Kingdom. Or if, like, the Switch from where I'm running is gonna be like, no, you have to keep it on the latest version. Because if not, I might be tempted to downgrade it. So I can have all the dupe bugs. I mean, yeah, it kind of ruined the game for me a bit, but I mean, having an instant one shot weapon that can, like, freeze, burn, and electrify shit is pretty fun. And then having the ability to duplicate diamonds is fun. Having the ability to zuggle weapons is fun. Having an unbreakable weapon was pretty cool, too. I'm not going to be able to climb that because the rain's not going to let up, is it? Ugh. Oh, wait, I can. I just, just hang. Don't, don't move. Just wait for the rain to stop. No, don't start storming again. No. Stupid game. Great. All right, how do I get on this island normally? There's a way to shimmy up mountains when it's raining like this. I just did it. It just takes a lot of stamina. Basically, you climb before you're about to fall. And then you leap. Dude, the, the messed up part about the whole sneaky, neaky, neaky thing is like. That's like happened months after Pomu mentioned the whole once in a lifetime opportunity she had. Makes yeah. me go. Was she given an opportunity by Kojima? I honestly think it's a maid cafe thing. Like she was given an opportunity to do. Like a maid cafe or an idol compilation, and they said no. Unrelated, but man, I'd be cool if Deer Skin joined the Shoujo. I would watch. That would be the only VTuber I would watch ever. Except maybe Fuomoko. I keep missing their morning show. Yeah. They always I, have I, their uh, shows. Like the archives or whatever. It's not the same. You want to you watch it live. Do you guys eat, like eating these nuts? Uh, what are you? What is? What about nuts now? These nuts, like, do you like eating them? Like I'm allergic. Eat nuts. No. <laughs> no, no, like the feastables. What the hell? Oh, the feastables. No. Feastables, yeah. You know, Mr. Beast. 
The Mr. Beast chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, the Mr. Least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Beast, Mr. Weast. Everyone keeps smashing those chocolate bars in my town. Like every time they had them, they smash them. They're really pretty good. I tried one. They're all right. Personally, I like. These nuts. Never had one either, That's the best flavor. The these nuts. Is the best he he actually called it these nuts. Yeah, the these nuts. Oh. I thought you were stretching for a D's nuts joke. No, it's not. It's not a joke. He actually has a a challenge in one of these nuts. Of course he does. His all all his fans would be like, ha ha, D's nuts. I'm gonna release like a candy, and I'm gonna call it 69. 69. I'm gonna make it as unfunny as possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop ship a candy that you can buy at Costco and upcharge like a lot of money, like Pokemane. I'm gonna call it 69. They won't they won't cancel me because it's an anime girl promoting it. I'll be like, oh, anime girl's being lewd, 69, ha 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 ha. I'm, I will buy 69 of them. Oh, but the thing is, if you buy six, you buy 68 of them, the 69th one is free. Oh, I see what I gotta do here. Okay, wait a minute. Barrel comes back over this way. We gotta weigh the scales in our favor. I still have not up. I'm sorry. What's up? You use amiibos? You use amiibo? I don't have amiibos. You can also use the super secret menu. Really? It's only available to people that are super in secret. Huh? Get a mod your switch. Damn it. Or you can just go to Amazon and you can actually buy, like, um, single-use tags, I think. And you can do it that way as well. Like, people have done that. They've downloaded Amiibo binaries and have, um... I'm failing so hard. This is ridiculous. People have downloaded the Amiibo binaries before and they'll just... Flash them to single use NFT tags. You can buy a house. You can buy pieces for the house. Yeah, you go to uh, Terrytown. It's like outside of Terrytown. You know the town, this game where you build stuff? Where you actually build that town up? It's in Akawa. It's the place in the, on the island. It's just southeast of Terrytown, where these trees are in this game. You can actually, there's a plot of land that you can buy, and then you buy pieces of a house, and you actually get to stick it together. You get to assemble it using Ultra Hand, which is really cool. Oh, I can stasis these, okay. That may be what I need to do. If only I had the rewind ability. Just only. No. The game just showed me twice how to do this. You have to drop the weight and launch yourself. Hmm, I, I think you can buy some weapons. Weapons? I know you can buy arrows. You can buy lots and lots of arrows. Yeah, I have my 
packs of gloves. Too much lino hunting. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, I got too many of those. There's an armor set you can get from uh, the one guy you give the frog gems to. That'll make it so that your rupees will be your health. Because oh. right now I have 26,000 rupees. I had like 500,000 rupees because I did the duping glitch and I duped all the diamonds. Same. I actually messed my save up so bad, I deleted my save because uh, it was boring at that point. I'm like, I have all the money, I have all the health, I'm unkillable, I have f f infinite bombs, <laughs> I have a master sword that melts glee ox in one shot. I could punch Ganon in the face and win. Yeah, I've, I've defeated Ganondorf already six times. Six. Six times. Jesus. Yeah. And I still keep on killing Lynels. I can't stop. Dang, Lurs. Really? I cannot Your stop first killing edit Lynels. got you a hundred views. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Good for the rice fields, motherfucker. Goddamn. That's the edit I d Is that the damn frog edit you shared me in the DMs? Uh, no, I, I made one from an old clip I had from, like, a year ago. Oh. I, I didn't post it because I figured, since it's your content, if you wanted to post it, you should. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bro, that's that's crazy. Uh, YouTube shorts pop off. I need to be exploiting the shit out of those. <laughs> that's what Ludwig said in that video you sent me. It's like you should be fishing for shorts and you should be fishing for videos in your streams. Yep, yep. I don't have a big enough brain to try and make video from this. Even shorts nowadays just make shorts in live streams. Yeah. The shorts don't make money. You can't monetize shorts. Oh, that, yeah. That's true. I mean, the first tier of monetization is just members anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be millionaire. Like, I, that's, that's not really goal. My goal is basically like that one guy that just streams for like eight nine ten plus hours and he just earns enough money to live off it like yeah you know if i can if i can stream whatever game i'm playing and i earn enough money to pay bills and i don't have to worry about money too much i think i'm doing pretty good if that's the case you guys play minecraft dude i play minecraft too much i need to uninstall minecraft so i can play all the other games in my backlog the over 200 games installed on my freaking switch I still play Minecraft sometimes. That's just the games installed on my Switch. I have so many other games physically, too, that I just need to play before the cartridges stop working, because that happens, apparently. Pal World. Pal World. Pal World was so much fun. You need to scrub through some Pal World streams and get some clips. Yeah. Pal World is just fun. You just go around. It's oh, like, yeah. imagine an open world Pokemon game where you can make your Pokemon work at a base, and you can have everything be automated instead of having to do it all manually. I mean, I saw one of my friends. The animals or the Pokemon, whatever that thing's called. They just call them. As a flamethrower, and I was like, that is just pure evil. That's cool. I like that. You're talking about Fox Sparks. You can use it as a a flamethrower. It's so cool. It's not just that, you can actually give some pals rocket launchers, and you can mount on their back, and they will just shoot rockets. That is pure evil. What do you mean pure evil? They enjoy it. They like launching the rockets. They don't die from it, they just have mounted rockets. Imagine in real life, you have one of those fucks, you squish to the hell out of it, and just, you know, throws the fire. You're really abusing the fucks. 
it likes it. Oh, yeah, re recently, it uh, recently, me and Azu played um, Minecraft Dungeons together on stream with a couple others. Yeah, we did it uh, for two days. Hey, wait, on Sunday, we did it on Tuesday. What Minecraft? Minecraft Dungeons. No, it's no, like, like Diablo, but uh, Minecraft. No, like, uh, Java or better? Both. It's Dungeons. No, like, what? 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 version do you guys play? I play on both. Uh, I play Bedrock. Really? video is fun. My problem is I'm a Minecraft addict. If I just uninstalled Minecraft, I could probably do much better in life. I blame Notch. Editing videos. Editing video. Uh, it's fun. It takes too long. I don't like it, that's why. Yeah. No, I like editing on Fortnite. You know, editing oh, yeah? some, some walls. Some cones. You probably get a kick out of anything that has a map on it. Honestly, I won't go with my friend. Yeah. And I have absolutely destroyed him. I even built a five-star hotel while destroying him. Nice. You want to destroy him, and then you're gonna build on his corpse. Then you're gonna dance on it. What can I do in Tears of the Kingdom? You can build like the the giant, um, the giant um, robot that has a flaming penis. <laughs> you never saw that clip, Walter. Put your dick away, Walter. I don't know that. I'm like, of course someone's gonna build that. Should I go to feed Kenendorf again? Sure. You should start a new game. You should have only three hearts, and you should try to fight Ganondorf with only three hearts. You'd have to fight like the four bosses, and you'd have to do the, the army. Bro. Good fucking luck. I did exactly what you did, like, like I had a, a file. Or yeah. I was like immortal, and I killed Ganondorf with a stick. No, no cheats, no glitches. Like play no, through no the glitches. game, play through I, the I, game. I, I, no three hearts, whatever weapons you scrounge together, and try beating Ganon that way. You eat Lionel for breakfast. You'd be able to do it. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, have you seen the images that I sent in general? Yeah. You <laughs> have the damn weapons and shit you got. Protection is now ready to roll. Fucking yeah. light. You you approach a Lionel, a Lionel freaking shits itself and then dies. <laughs> it just goes and then dies. <laughs> Man, I killed Gleox for fun too. Bomb arrows and a triple shot bow. To the face. Every time. Oh fuck, clean, fuck King Gleok though. Fuck that one. That one. That was bullshit. Man, I killed him first try. I did too, but the fight was really bullshit. Especially when it starts dropping those damn ice things from the damn roof. You have to jump on him and recall, but then it also shoots lightning bolts at the same time. Man, I used my hover bike. I just flew up to him. You know, using his eyeballs, and just smacked him. With pristine weapons. Okay, Xant's helmet makes me unfreezable, but it also doesn't make it... I'm unfreezable, but I'm taking frost damage from the environment. That makes no sense. A 
shit, I'm going the wrong way. And they go to the red, the red marker. How do they miss that one? Jesus. I think I'm near the bowling guy, am I? Oh yeah, the bowling guy is near the damn tower. Look at the pristine weapons I'm talking about. Let me see. Yeah, the pristine weapons are the best ones in the game. Silver Lionel Blade. Um, excuse me, is that 200 damage? 200 damage? 208 damage. I didn't see the 8. Holy shit! <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, that, that's the actual Lionel killer, bro. Yeah, you jump on his back where nothing takes any damage, and yep, you'd, that, that'd be a Lionel killer. Yeah, you jump, uh, you jump on his back, you, you can kill like a normal Lionel, like a... What are those slimes? They're the chews? Brown lines? What color lines are there? There's um the blue ones, there's red ones, there's black ones, there's silver ones. Oh yeah, the red ones. The red ones. You you can easily do shot that the red ones with it. Jesus. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't patch that. Like it feels like weapons not taking damage when you're on the back of a line feels like that's an exploit that should have been patched. I mean, it's not a glitch. It's not doing anything bad. I mean, you're able I mean, to. But before using that that Lionel absolute demolisher, yeah, I used um the the light scale tra trident with a silver Lionel saber. That and a little a little bit of water, you get. Probably kill a lion pretty fast. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do here. If you go to the tier so you should probably uh, use the, the pristine weapon that I'm telling you about. Oh, yeah, definitely. In fact, tell me the best way how to kill a lion. So this little sphere in the center of the room will raise the platform when it goes into the platform. I have to set up little blocks so the ball keeps rolling. And we'll make it to the center platform by the time I'm on top of it. That's what I'm supposed to do. That did not work because the ball got stuck. Excuse you. <laughs> could be worse, could be coming out the other end. I don't know. Then you have to check yourself. Be like, uh oh. <laughs> That reminds me of a funny clip I saw. It's like a streamer got scared shitless. <laughs> he stands up and he just goes, I just fucking shit myself. I'm just like... <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. He got scared so much he shit himself. Yeah, he just said, I just fucking shit myself. <laughs> On stream, I'm like, okay. That's what you get when you eat freaking Taco Bell, bro. Wait, are you still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. Do you? You don't work tomorrow, huh? So you're probably gonna stay alive for quite a bit? No, I work tomorrow, it's just I work in the afternoon, that's the problem. I stay up to like 5 in the morning sometimes. Jesus. Well, some people have a uh, genetic disposition that makes it that they only need like four hours of sleep. I don't have that. I should really sleep more. I have that. I have the, the, the opposite gene that makes it so I sleep, I like, 
for two days I don't get any sleep, and then one day I sleep for fucking 12 hours. Like, I'll go to bed at 2 in the morning, and I'll wake up at 2 p.m. Like, what? I just have the high school sleep. The Shrines confuse me lore-wise, why would you want the only person who can defeat Ganon go through life-threatening obstacles with tedious puzzles? Like, what, do they want him to die? That's a good question. It's kind of like trials to see if you can be stronger. By the way, plug in your Wii U and turn it on. Make sure it still works. It does. Mine does, too. Mine's the, the black unit. The white units seem to be fine, but, like, the black units, for whatever reason, some of the earlier ones that were made were made of, like, a cheaper the memory chip. Wait, I thought the Wii U had the... the, the... Had a what? The big controller. It does. Yeah. It's not me. The uh, system itself, there's like, it uses a special type of NAND flash chip that over time will lose charge. And when it loses charge, it starts to corrupt the data on it. It'll eventually corrupt the file system and you won't be able to use it anymore. Every Wii U will suffer this fate. It's just the black ones for reasons that the larger 32 gig models, the manufacturing process from those is cheaper or some crap, and they can die if they're left unplugged for too long. Oh no, it's not unplugged. Mine has never been unplugged. Wait, do you have a, a Wii? I used to have a Wii, but um. Then it, you got it, HRT. It went, oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Holy cow, it's like... I, I, I used to have a Wii, but the the charger, the charging inputs into the TV were outdated. But oh. luckily, my um, my thing, my my relative. Gave me the Wii U, which has the better updated uh, plugin for the TV. I see a lino! Uh oh. Oh, wait. That's a silver. I don't know what happened. What do you mean, what happened, Lore? Oh, they just gone from the voice chat. Uh, I guess they just left. They might have, like, left for the night. Yeah, maybe. He's typing in general right now. Oh, he's Give me a sec, gotta restart his PC. Yeah, he's gonna restart his PC. This is the best compendium image ever. Wynel ass. <laughs> <laughs> Some sicko is going to be off to that. That's the bad part. You know it. It's like a lion centaur, basically. Hey, bitch. Oh, that's the exploding one. They have a distinct animation when they're gonna do that. Time to get poked in the back of the Master Sword. I need to practice the jumping off their back and bullet timing them. Welcome back! That's a lot of damage. Yeesh. What was that? Were you playing a slide whistle when you entered? No, nah, he was just whistling. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Dagwer, I'm surprised you did not react to that when I got you with that shit. Let me see my phone real quick. What? Yeah. You said you used to have a Wii, and I said, yeah, and then you took HRT. Oh, if someone was trans, they'd immediately be like, ha ha ha, that's funny, ha 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 ha. Uh, so, uh, like, 
I wish it was actually fit IRL. Something I would have done for like uh, April Fools. I probably would have tried to get my VTuber models fucking outfit put together IRL and just like cover my face or some shit. Egbert, I have those same pants. What happened? What? I have those same pants you're wearing. Oh, wow, what the hell? You mean the shorts? Yes. Oh, you have the same one? I think so. You guys play Gorilla Tech? I have not. I think I'm getting a little better at the headshots and the line else. I mean, if you have a bunch of key size, you can just, in tears of the cane, we'll just freaking headshot them over and over. I mean, that's a waste. That's a real waste. I don't, I don't do that. Keys are so damn common. I have more keys eyeballs than I know what to do with. Keys, they are common, but like, I really don't like keeping them that much. Oh. I'm just talking about the regular ones that make them home. How do you spawn in the golden, um, golden lino? You gotta play on master mode. They're exclusive to master mode. These wolves have 30 health? To hit them with three sword beams before they died. You should have watched what I was streaming on Twitch last night. I was playing uh, Vintage Story and it kicked my ass. I kept getting killed by boars, dude. Freaking boars. Oh man, I love Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker. Have you played it? I have. I've played both the GameCube original and the Wii U. I kind of hate the fact they shortened the Triforce quest because I, I liked the Triforce quest. Everyone hates it because it's like, oh, it takes so much time. I'm like, dude, the whole point of the game is you sail the ocean and you and you drunge up treasure from the ocean floor. You have to go across the whole great sea. You have to find a follow a treasure map, and then you have to like find eight of them, and then drudge them up. I like that. You haven't, you know, you haven't finished it. Honestly, yeah. I got stuck on the on the second island. On the Wind Waker. Yeah. I, I, I just straight up stopped playing that game for years. Oh, that sucks. Were you not able to figure out how to get to the dungeon? I didn't. I, I didn't know how to get to the freaking dragon, like the dragon thing. Oh dragon. no. Okay, you're talking about the first one. Dragon Roost Island. You said the second island. I was immediately thinking of like the island of the second dungeon. I, I straight up did not know how to get to the bird. And it's a lot of back and forth on that one to get started. You have to somehow partner up with Medley at first, and she'll get you. Um, she'll be able to fly across and lead you that way. Then you use, I think you have to use bomb flowers at one point. Like you get, you throw medley across the thing, she gives you a empty bottle. You use the empty bottle to get uh, water in a bottle. You go back toward the entrance of that one room. You um, use the water bottle on the bomb flowers to sprout them up. 
And then you use the, the bomb flowers to blow up the one rock in the center. And then that would cause the uh, the water level to rise, so you could just then just swim across. That's how that one works. I'd like to say it's a real simple puzzle, but it's really not. It's just I have bias because I've played so many Zelda games, I've gone through some cryptic ass shit. When you improve, don't jinx it, lol. I will jinx the fuck out of it. I will jinx it all the time. I will I will straight up freaking League of Legends jinx the shit out of it. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta leave for a little bit because I'm gonna do my video recording for my speech. Okay. Well, I should be ending stream soon anyway, so you take care, man. You see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Right, how about I do this one? And I think there's another Lionel up here. Unless I'm thinking of Tears of the Kingdom again. Yeah, damn, those games are both having the same damn map. I'm getting them both mixed up. Nope, there's a second Lionel. I still do. I've, even when I played Tears, I still went back and played Breath of the Wild. But like, is this gonna be a game where I'm no longer gonna play again, or will it stand up on its own? It stands up on its own for me. Well, Tears is a little bit easier most of the time because you can, like, as you defeat the four temples, you straight up are just given the ability to summon friends. It'll be like you and like five other freaking AI. One of them who's capable of equipping freaking cannons on their damn arm. Kind of hard to die to a Gleok when you have a friend who's a mech who has cannons on their fucking arms. Wait, you can headshot them from the side? Okay, I'm over here thinking you have to actually hit them with their face, so it's just straight up anywhere on their head. Oh no, the bow is badly damaged. They can have like 20 more. Not like you have 20 more. <laughs> Bombs. Bombs is always the answer. Terrible. Indians, that, that's come on. That, that was um. That was even middle. That was Middle Eastern people that did that. And it wasn't even Middle Eastern people in general. It was just like you know, people of a certain faith, unfortunately. All right. Let's... I wonder if he's actually okay with it, or if he's just saying he's okay with it to kind of stay in the friend group.
I didn't eat all that. As long as you're okay about it. I feel a little strange about it. I haven't I didn't actually have anyone in my family die to that, but it still kinda sucks. I lived through it. I was freaking ten years old when it happened. I was ten when it happened. It was it was two thousand and one. I would have turned eleven then. I was 10 years old, I was freaking watching Cartoon Network, and all of a sudden my mom calls the house. Somehow, miraculously, I went to school, came back, went through the whole school day, and not a soul has uttered a word about it near me. No health left. Just, just die already. You have no health left. These are just the silver ones too. These aren't even the black lionels. Oh god, the black lionels. I work a day job for a living. Day job? Yeah. What is I work at a dead end job. I, I haven't gone to college, so I don't have like a really cool job. It's just literally like an unskilled freaking job. Working in retail, it's great. Ah, that's funny. That, you, that I do that for a living too. That that's actually a good one. That's really funny. That's actually a really genius one. I want to write that one down. I'm taking a note of that one. I breathe air for a living. Everyone talks about late stage capitalism. This late stage capitalism. That motherfucker. When are they going to start charging people for breathing air? Think of the untapped market. Think of the millions of dollars you could get if you charged people air. One cent for each time you breathe the air. I was thinking more of one dollar, but I mean, you do you. One dollar. One dollar. Why not? Inflation. Inflation's a bitch. I mean, it'd be like one cent. Like ten years ago. It'd be one cent uh, ten uh, ten years ago, and then next year it'll be like five dollars, and in five years it'll be fifty dollars. Uh, have you seen the price of a Big Mac, dude? It's insane. It's crazy, go nuts. It was like. The cost of Big Macs are going up because of inflation. Like, no, it's because franchisee locations got are, are stomping at their feet that they have to pay their workers 15 an hour. So they're just jacking the prices up because they can get away with it. Do you like cooking? Do I have what? Like cooking? Do you like cooking? Cooking? I don't really cook. I just, like, heat up stuff. I don't think, like, following basic instructions on how to make a ready-made is be considered cooking. Should get into it though. Like if I got into cooking, I'm pretty sure I would stop eating shit. I mean, you kind of have to have fire to cook. You're right. I climbed all the way up here to try and cheese this. I think there's stairs you have to walk down. Tears of 
can almost cheese every single shrine with rock shields. And honestly, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Did you delete what? It's going on midnight though, I should end stream after this shrine. It's also five o'clock somewhere. It's not that late. Five o'clock in the afternoon. It's always five o'clock somewhere. Because that's how the planet works. Death kind of is what gives life meaning. Everyone's like, I want to be able to live forever. Okay, imagine that. Imagine living forever. Imagine not being able to die. No matter what you do, you can never, ever die. That would kind of suck. Imagine seeing your friends, your family, your loved ones die before you, but you cannot die. Imagine the pain and suffering you'd have to go through. Of every death. Imagine the fact that when you, when you try to like it, to, uh, like you fall off a bridge, you don't you, you don't feel scaredness because like you're normal. It's still gonna hurt like hell. You're not you're not kick ass. It's still gonna hurt. It's like if you if you mess yourself up, you're not you're gonna be in pain, but you won't be able to die. So you, the death will not be able to release you from your pain. That would be torment. You cannot die. You cannot die. No, there is no regeneration. It's just you cannot die. There is a ki it's um I can't remember what dark it's either Dark Souls or Demon Souls or um, Bloodborne. There is a queen that's immortal. And. Uh, usurpers actually went and turned her inside out. So she's nothing but a ma like a mass of flesh. But she's still alive. But she's now an unrecognizable mass of flesh. It's a fate worse than death. And she will have to sit there as a mass of flesh for all eternity, not being able to do anything else. At all. But just sit there. As everyone sees... Her insides, strewn across the entire um, throne room. In insides, really? Yeah, like her innards. Her innards are now her outards. That's what they did to her. And she cannot die. Damn. Do you watch anime? I don't watch any anime recently, but I used to. I need to give myself time to watch it. Oh. That's nice. What do you used to watch? I started with Sailor Moon. I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z. When Adult Swim was a thing, I watched Inuyasha a lot. And then there was Shamurai uh, Champlo. That was that was really good. I miss Samurai Shamplo. Nice. I've never sat down and actually finished a series. I would just like watch it whenever it was on. And the blue rib Samurai. Like... Nice. One other bad thing about being immortal, like let's just imagine you were immortal and you weren't able to like have your insides be turned inside out. Like, you're just straight up, like, cannot be touched. Infant regeneration. One of the limitations you'd run into is you would start forgetting things. 
the human brain only has so much capacity. Eventually, your brain will actually forget things to make room for new information. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> It'd kind of be like Alzheimer's in a way, but not really. You would forget things. You would start, it would be, your oldest memories would be forgotten to make room for the new information. You'd forget your childhood, you would forget friends, families, loved ones, you would forget every good memory you had in the past. I guess one advantage of that would be you would forget, like, how a video game went, so you could play a video game a hundred years later, provided the game still fucking worked. Then you could play it blind all over again. Provided that, like, video games are still around a hundred years in the future, I mean, who knows, the entire world might be a nuclear wasteland. Did you finish the shrine? No, I'm still trying to find the entrance for it. I saw that there's a pathway, there's like a, a bridge that connects to it. I gotta find how I get into there. What happened? Wait, you're, you're doing the maze? Yeah. Are you trying to get the barbarian set? I guess I could try to get that. Do I have, like... Oh, yeah, I have one of them. I don't have the other one. Yeah, I know where all the Lomi Shrines are. They're on the map. You can see them on the map. Oh, like, Clearly see them. Um, all the mazes. Yeah, they're, you can visibly see them from the map. Okay, there, I was just, right. There are just stairs. Just use the map. Oh. Just use the map. The map straight up tells you where they are. As soon as you unlock the map for the area, I saw them like, oh, I'm gonna go over there. What's that? It's like some sort of dungeon or something? Like, oh, this is a maze. So I was right. There are stairs, but I just can't remember how to get to them. Bro. Bro, I, I hate it in Tears of Kingdom. Like, completing those puzzles in Tears of Kingdom, like, that... I actually liked it, because it felt like a mini dungeon. First you had to go through the maze on the one floor, then you had to go... Yeah. Just to get that... I even forgot the armor. It actually felt like a dungeon though, too, because it was like, you, there was the maze part of the dungeon, then there was the challenge part of the dungeon where you had to go and activate the shrines. And then finally you dive down and you fight a boss. It was basically a Zelda dungeon. That is not a boss. A construct is not a boss. It has a boss. It has a boss health bar. It's technically a, a world boss. Unfortunately, no. You don't? Nope. It's much easier to find that, uh, find those people when you're in schooling and just talking to everybody. Yeah. And unfortunately for me, I decided to not go to regular school, so that's my own damn fault. Not relatable. I mean, especially in my area, like, I'm not in a big city, most people have met each other in school. Well, are you from the countryside? Kind of. I live in the countryside. The city I'm in is like a rural city. It is a big city, but it's not super big. United States? United States. Do you live in the United States? Of course I do. In America? Yeah, freedom. 
We love freedom here. Oh, there's the shrine. Like almost. You like almost borderline doxed yourself in one of your old YouTube shorts. Yeah. Like you said the name of where you lived. Yep. That's why I removed them all. That's crazy. I mean, I didn't think about it too much. It's just like, oh, oh no, you know the city I live in. Oh no, there's like how many people live here? Good luck finding me. I don't even live in the city. So if you went and had knocked on every door of every house in the city without getting the cops or the feds called on you, well, number one, how the fuck do you manage that? Uh, number two, you wouldn't find me. I never did show any pictures of the front of my house. I never showed pictures of what car I drive. I'm always careful about stuff like that. Like, if I showed a picture of the front of my house, and then I mentioned the city, people could just type in that address and start looking at that address and be able to find it. If it's, if someone on 4chan wanted to find me, they could just, if I was an IRL streamer, they could tell, um, from the direction of the sun and what time it is. Like, oh, uh, the room he sits in faces toward the west. So, the house they're in, somehow, uh, is, like, aligned in compass directions. And we know they're from this zip code. Like, they could- the zip code itself narrows it down further. Because the city has two zip codes. One zip code on the north side of the river and one on the south side of the river. Then if I- I- I've mentioned the pizza place that I go to that's near where I live. And there actually is a pizza place like a short distance from where I live. Yeah. The what? I don't. I used to. Degber does. Degber plays Roblox. Block what? No, I have not. Is that the One Piece game? It's a One Piece game. Oh, sweet. Do you play it? I do not. Have you heard about it? Uh, heard about it, but that was like 8th grade or something. So, like, um, years ago? Um, do you know what are V4 trials? Brother, I have read all of One Piece. I have. understand the joke that I'm... <laughs> what the fuck? Because... No, no, because, like... I have a joke... in this game... that's actually just a... <laughs> and it's so hilarious if you actually... if you actually play that game... then this would be so hilarious. <laughs> that is an Xbox Live tier message that you posted in Dream Memes. Like, I hope the monster under your bed tickles your asshole till you die. <laughs> that sounds yeah, like something I a kid would say. That, that sounds like something a kid would say when you beat his ass in Halo. Yeah. <laughs> you lack the bitches to pull this lever. Apply to me. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, this lever, 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 is to, like, get to turn before. But, like, you have, you have to do a whole process to, like, actually, like, be able to get before. And trust me, it takes more than, like, five days to, have to do this. It's like, if, if you have, if you first go to the thing, it, it, it says, it will say that you that you, you lack something. Yeah. You can't just pull the lever. So this is actually actually me. You lack mommy's credit card information. You have, you have to give him the credit card information and the three magic numbers in the back. And then for five ninety nine you can pull the lever now. For five ninety nine. 
79 is great. <laughs> That's so sad, too. It's like nowadays. I always watch Vine Sauce. He talks. Uh, he has a segment called the uh, Grab Bag or the Shit Show or whatnot, and he talks. He just plays Android trash. It's like these crappy free to game, free to play ad filled games on Android. And he talks about how you know back in his time and even in my time too, you had sites like Newgrounds where you could go there and you could play all these Flash games, and now those are all gone because Flash is gone, and it's been replaced with like this Android trash. And I go, you know, there were a lot of really crappy Flash games, but then again, I could actually play the crappy Flash game without every five seconds or every time I die, it plays a freaking video ad. So no, it actually is, it would have been better back then. If it wasn't so ad-filled, it wouldn't be so bad. That's nice. Like, I would... be able to stop this puzzle. Yeah. I would be able to... Uh, no, it's not that. Like, I've actually played those free-to-play games on Android. I've tried. And, like, if you play a Minecraft clone, for instance, there's, it gets so bad with ads that you open the inventory and it plays a video ad. You close the inventory, it plays a video ad. You die. It plays a video ad. You go to generate a new world, it plays a video ad. It's ridiculous. And it's like, every game does that. I wouldn't mind banner ads on menus and stuff. That would be fine. I wouldn't mind a video ad when you load the world. Once. And maybe if you die. But I feel like if you die, that, that, that would have to be on a cooldown timer. Like five minutes since last death. You hit respawn, you have to watch an ad. That would be okay. If the ad is like 30 seconds. But it's so egregious, I just like, I can't. And the worst part is 99% of the games are made in Unity. And they're made... They just literally just asset flip a game together to give some semblance of a hollow game, some sort of interactivity, just so they can shovel ads into it. It's not like a Flash game where someone actually tried to make a game and it just sucks. It's a, no, let's just take... It, it almost looks AI-generated, some of these names. It's like, what's popular right now? Like, this very moment. Because I'm out of the loop. Like, just 100 days. That's one thing. Uh, Not Skibbity Toilet. Any Mr. Beast video. Any Mr. Beast video. So, like, Skibbity Toilet, 100 days. Um, Pow, it would be Pow World. Pow something. Pow Blockcraft. 100 days in Skibbity Toilet Mr. Beast Block Craft. What the hell? Craft and Survive game. And it sounds like it's AI generated slop. And it's just going to be like. It'll have like actual ripped assets from Pokemon with Pokeballs and stuff and actual guns. And Nintendo will not strike it down. And you'll play it. And then it'll just play ads. And the worst part is like. The kids that actually play these games or like three, four, or five years old, they're the babies that have the tablets on their phone. They have like the full on phone. Their, their parents just give them a phone. And they're downloading these games and they're playing them. Mm -hmm. And they're getting exposed to these advertisements, which is technically illegal because of COPA. Because you, you can't have targeted ads for kids. But if a kid has is given a cell phone and they're downloading these games that are made for kids then these advertising agencies are building a profile and collecting information on the children, which is illegal in the, st in the United States. And they're making targeted ads. I wonder how much money they make from that. I should, st I should stop working my crappy job. I should just download Unity and learn how to, and just make like a burner Google account and just make a bunch of shitty games. For number one, to make easy money off of kids that just like sit through the ads, and number two, to learn how to make games. And then take that money and then launder it, even though it's not illegal money, launder it into like an actual game studio to make good games. Really? And like five years later, I get canceled on X.com when someone finds out that, oh, it's the same company that, that does the shitty games. All they'd have to do is someone would go, they use AI-generated assets. That's all I'd have to do. Instantly canceled. 
Fun fact, the, the little icon in the bottom left corner of the screen on the stream is AI generated. Yep. I had to doctor the, the text though because it messed up the text, but it is AI generated. I just asked Bing to make it. I'm like, oh, that looks good. I'll save it. Well, uh, that's going to do it for the stream tonight. I stopped at Gerudo Town because uh, next time I stream this, we're actually going to take on a Divine Beast for once. I just wanted to fully power up the Master Sword for the other two Divine Beasts since we're like halfway through the game. Then afterwards, it's going to be side quest hell and all the shrines. All the remaining 60 of them. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys next week. Rest well, everyone, and sweet dreams.